live. All right, folks, um, welcome to the Appling County High School Gym where our Lady Pirates officially take on the Bacon County Lady Red Raiders. I am David Heron. Usually I have my partner Chris Floyd here with me, but he got some news yesterday. He had some test results come in um, for his IQ test, and everything come back negative, so he's excited. So, <laughs> but I think he went out of town uh, or something, so I'll be here by myself unless I get a guest speaker to pop in here sooner or later. They are uh, naming the, the starters for Bacon County. It looks like that's going to be Apple Reynolds, um, Zania Staten, Macy Holton, Tay Chancy, and K.K. Thomas. Now for your Lady Pirates, Samaya Barnum, number two. Number five, that's going to be Kanaya White. Number 11, Talia Hayes. Number 15, Samaria McKenzie. And number 23, Perry Mitchell is getting the start tonight. And um, y'all, you still got plenty of time to get here, so uh, y'all come on in and join us. Um, starting to get a few people crowding in here. We got the boys match up after this game. Um, shortly after but we're getting ready to start here we'll have uh, jump ball here and uh this bacon county team we've seen them before they're a pretty good scrappy team and of course our lady pirates the same there they've been playing some um pretty good ball of late and um we've lost some um heartbreakers that was really close down to the wire okay we're fixing to have a jump ball here there's a jump and uh lady pirates get the ball gets the ball over to hayes Back over to White. White looking. Remember, there's a shot. Bounces off the rim. Everybody's fighting for it under the goal. I think Bacon County comes up with it. That's going to be number 21, Tay Chancy, to come up with it. Gets it back out. We retreat to the other end of the court. Zero Reynolds. Pass it over. Look for somebody. Long cross-court pass to Reynolds. Reynolds dumps it underneath, trying to get Chancy and miss it. Uh, Barnum comes out with rebound. Brings it down court quickly. Barnum's looking for somebody in the corner. That's White. And White took a step before she put the ball on the floor. So that's going to be traveling. Turn the ball over to Bacon County. Chauncey to bring the ball in to Reynolds. Reynolds brings it down slow. Great ball handler. Out to Staten. Staten back over to Reynolds. Reynolds underneath. Looking for somebody, nobody was there. We get rebound, but we throw it away. Reynolds comes in for a shot, and we finally get rebound. Barnum comes out with it. Barnum's going to drive down quick, gets it over to White in the corner. She backs up, takes the shot, and scores. So just like that, your Lady Pirates are on the board first. Kanaya White, we're going to press them a little bit. They finally get it across the line. She's trying to do it. I think we batted it away, and they pick it back up again. And back court's going to be called. That's going to be Appling County ball. Like we had three on one there on Reynolds, and it paid off. McKenzie to inbound the ball. Inbounds to White. White's looking, coming down. Looks like they're going to put a little bit of pressure on us, not too much. Hayes with the ball back over to White. White in the corner, there's McKenzie. McKenzie, little fake, pulls up, shoots, bounces off the rim. Bacon County with the rebound, but we're going to press them a little bit. We're right on top of Reynolds. And uh, I think Reynolds stepped on the line. That's going to be pirate ball. McKenzie did inbound the ball right there and on our end of the court. White with the ball. Top of the key. Look for somebody. Back over to Hayes. Hayes looking underneath. Nobody there. Back out to White. Back over to Hayes. Hayes thought about long cross court. Dangerous pass to Mitchell. Mitchell shoots off the rim. Rebound by Bacon County. Gets it out to Reynolds. Reynolds going to drive down quick. She's looking for something and throws a prayer up. It bounces around. But they get it back. I think that's Chauncey up under there. And. I yep. Traveling, so uh, now um, Bacon County's going to call a timeout, and so we're going to take a quick timeout with them. Be right back with you. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, 
providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. All right, folks, we're back with you. Pirates inbound the ball real quick. White with the ball. Looking over Perry Mitchell. Mitchell takes a shot. Misses, and it's going to go out of bounds. It's going to be Bacon County ball. So far, there's been a lot of action, not a lot of scoring. They inbound the ball, get it down, bounces away. That's going to be Bacon County ball. I think it was batted away by Perry Mitchell. Bacon inbounds, looking for somebody, gets it over to Reynolds. Reynolds back out the top there. That's number five. That's Holton, Macy Holton, back over to Reynolds. And traveling on Reynolds. Number 15, McKenzie inbound the ball to White. Bacon County retreated. Looks like they're going to come down and place. I'm not sure if they're playing sort of a zone. Back over to White. White thought about it, and she pulled a three-point shot. And they said she traveled no good. She made the three-point, but called travel. She took that step. Looked good from my side, but I ain't down there. I'm not the official. <laughs> Reynolds with the ball. We're pressing them again. There's Holton with a pass. Holton picks her own rebound. Gets the ball back, gets it underneath the Chauncey, and she travels. It's like Bacon County's got somebody coming in here. That is number 24, Chelsea Madison, coming in for Macy Holton. Holton. White to bring the ball down across the timeline. White's looking at that right side to Mitchell. She pulls up three-point range, shoots. Bounce off the rim. She made that a while ago, but they called walking on her. McKenzie with the ball back underneath to Mitchell. I think she drew the foul. And that's going to be on number 23. That's going to be on K.K. Thomas. And that was a shooting foul, so that's going to bring Mitchell to the line. Mitchell's first shot is up off the rim, off the backboard, actually, and it's good. Mitchell setting up for a second shot. Up looks good. Off the glass again. Both of them are good. Score 4 to 0 on your Village Pizza scoreboard. Reynolds brings the ball down, throws it down, gets it to number three, Staten. And um, Barnum, I think it was, come hustling down there like she normally does and bats it out of bounds. So they're going to have to bring it inbounds up under the goal here. They're going to stack it up. Got the ball inside to number 23. She takes a shot. Just missed it. We get a rebound. Get it back out to Barnum. There's White down there. Good pass by Barnum. She pulls up, shoots, and scores. And drew the foul. And that was on number three. Kanaya White bring her to the line. There's her shot, low line drive shot, misses. There's a battle under there. Went out on Talia Hayes. She was battling over it, but it's going to be Bacon County ball. So just like that, your Lady Pirates are up 6-0 to zero on your Village Pizza scoreboard. Chauncey the inbound the ball, gets it in to uh, number three, Staten. I think Hayes reached in. So that's going to be the first foul on Lady Pirates. K.K. Thomas the inbound the ball to Reynolds. Back over to State and back over to, to number 24. That's Madison back under. That is K.K. Uh, Thomas with her first points of the night. And just like that, we bring the ball down quick. There's Perry Mitchell with a long shot and misses. 
Bacon County girl went and saved it and threw it back in. We got the ball, and it's McKenzie. McKenzie's look, thinking about it. She's driving. Going to take a shot. No foul called. We're battling over. We get the rebound back out to Hayes over to Mitch. McKenzie. McKenzie's going to drive again. Still no foul call. It's going to be Applin ball. McKenzie inbounds to White. White made a move. Pulls up. Shoots. Misses. Rebound by Mitchell, I believe it was. No shot batted away, but Barnum comes in, makes a save, but she stepped on the line. So it's going to be Bacon County ball. 324 left in this first period. On your Village Pizza scoreboard. Bacon County with the ball. It's K.K. Thomas trying to drive again, gets it over to Reynolds. Reynolds, great ball handler. Throws it away, though. White gets the ball, throws it down to Barnum. Barnum's Reynolds right there on her. She bats it away. Little <laughs> Reynolds is quick. Apple Reynolds is her name, and she is quick. We inbound the ball, and Lady Pirates going to call a timeout, and we'll be right back with you. We insure your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you. Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. All right, we're back with you. Lady Pirates just inbound the ball. Light the lost it there. White over to Hayes, back over to White. White gets underneath there. There's McKenzie. McKenzie shoots. The basket goes in. See if it's good. She got fouled. The basket is good. And the foul is on number three. That's Staten. And that's going to bring her to the line. Got number three, Staten came out. And I believe that was Holton that come back. Oh, and she made the, McKenzie made the extra point there. So three point played in. And we're going to put a little pressure on Reynolds, but she handles the ball well, throws it down court. There's McKenzie with the steal. Gets it over to White. White's looking for Barnum, but she takes a step and drives, shoots, misses, gets her own rebound. There's a battle under there. Jump ball. It's going to be Applin ball. No, it's going to be Bacon ball. That's right, because well, that's we call it jump ball. But, yeah, they, they got the point. Number 25, Parker in the ball game. They get the ball down across the court. Throws it into Reynolds. Reynolds over to Holton. Holton looking underneath to Parker. Parker's got the ball under the goal. Shoots. Blocked by McKenzie. Here comes Barnum out with it across the timeline. Back over to White. White thought about a three-point attempt over to McKenzie. McKenzie pulls up and shoots. Scores. 11-2 on your Village Pizza scoreboard. Two minutes left in this first period. Reynolds down with the ball quick. Pulls up. Shoots and scores. That's her first points of the night. Just like that, 11-4. Barnum come down a minute. 50 left. Traveling on White. Took a step. We got a couple of Lady Pirates coming in. We got uh, Caitlin Mims, and I believe that's number four. Erica Clemens going to come in. It's going to give um, White and Barnum a little rest. Bacon County with the ball, trying to get it across the timeline. We could put a little pressure on them. There's Holton, but we battle. Hayes got the ball, but taken right back away. But I think a foul may have been called. Yep, that's going to be on Talia Hayes. That's her second foul. We've only got two team fouls. Both of them have been on her. Well, Hayes going to come out and take her a break, and... Um, we got Tori Solomon coming in the ball game. 
Holton with the ball up at the top of the key. Gets it inside to Parker. Parker shoots. Misses. Perry Mitchell with the rebound, but throws it away. Back underneath to number 23. That is K.K. Thomas, who shoots and scores. She has four of their six points. We bring the ball down with a minute left. There's McKenzie. Gets it underneath to Tori Solomon. Shoots. Misses. There's McKenzie. Would have tried to push it back up, but somebody knocked her down. That should be Applin Ball. Solomon inbound the ball to McKenzie. McKenzie's going to drive. Dumps it underneath to Clemens. I think she drew the foul. That should be a shooting foul. That should be two shots. That's going to be on number 25. That's going to be on Parker. Tori Solomon to the line. Look of her first points of the night. Tori shoots. Misses. Bounced off the back of the rim. I think she was trying to use the glass a little bit, which is very smart. Second shot's up. Bounce around. Oh, just rolled off. Bacon with the ball. Get the rebound. There's Reynolds. Driving, driving, driving. She shoots. It rolls off. They get the rebound back underneath to um, number 23. It's going to be Bacon County ball. A lot of hustle over there. I don't know who that was. We had one diving. That was uh, Caitlin Mims diving after the ball. Okay, Parker's going to come out of the ball game. I think that's Chauncey that's coming back in. Madison the inbound the ball to Holton. Back over to Reynolds. Reynolds top of the key. 36 seconds left. Holton underneath to... I think she may have drew the foul. And that was going to be a foul on McKenzie, I believe it is. Samaria McKenzie. So that's going to bring Chauncey to the line. Shoots her first from the and it's in. 11-7 on your Village Pizza scoreboard. 32 seconds left. Here's her second shot. It's up. It looks good, and it's in. 11-8. They're making a run at it. We're, they're going to press us a little bit now. Solomon with the ball. Looking down. Gets it over to McKenzie. McKenzie's looking for somebody. Uh, Dish is underneath to us. Solomon, what a pass. Erica Clemens gets knocked down. Holding with the ball, but I believe she traveled. Yes, she did. She tried to put the brakes on, and it just kept sliding. 16 seconds left in this first period. 11-8. Applin ball. Perry Mitchell to inbound the ball. She's looking to bring it in. Some high pass over to McKenzie. Back over to Solomon. Solomon's looking. Gets it back over to McKenzie. Three-point attempt. Bounces off the rim. We're there. There's Perry Mitchell with the rebound. Tries to shoot it up. No foul called. Bacon County with the ball. It's number 24. Madison comes out, and that's going to be the end of this first period with a score of 11-8. Applin County on your Village Pizza scoreboard. We'll be right back. Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Folsom Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the back and let's do it. Do it. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. All right, welcome back uh, here at your Affluent County High School gym. Uh, just finished up this first quarter here. Uh, Applin County's on top 11-8 over Bacon. Bacon inbound the ball. Uh, Reynolds with the ball. Gets it over to number 24 Madison. Back out to Holton. Holton looks underneath to Chauncey. Back out to Reynolds. Reynolds pulls up. Thought about it. Gets it to Holton. Holton with a long shot. Misses. Ball bounce around. I think Eric Clemens may have come up with a rebound. 
and they tied it up. That, that's going to be a foul on number 23, I believe, if that's it. That's K.K. Thomas. It's going to be Appling County ball. White to bring the ball down. White's looking for somebody. Got a lot of money over to Erica Clemens. Back out to White. White's moving to her right. Back over to the left now. Throws a shot up. Tried to spin to throw a shot up. And there's a wrestling match on the floor. And they're going to call traveling. Traveling on. It said Apple and then said Bacon. Then he said, I don't know, but it's Bacon's ball. <laughs> I got Cole here with me. <laughs> He's a little cold, but help me out here. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Uh, I think that was a foul away from the play. I, I think that was the right call because I did see Applin have the ball last and yep. rolling over. So I think that I think he just had a foul on Perry Mitchell away from the ball. Is what they called number 23. Reynolds with the ball. Pass underneath to Thomas. And it looks like that might have been on Erica Clemens. That bit. Were two no, that's on um Oh, that's on Perry Mitchell again. Just like it's got two of them. And that's gonna bring Thomas to the line. So this is the first shot off the glass and it's good. There's her second shot. It's up, it looks good. Bounce off the back of the rim. Erica Clemens comes out with a rebound. Gets it out to White. White's going to hurry the ball down real quick. She's looking, moves to her right, goes up for a shot. No call. They get the ball out to Holden. There's Perry Mitchell all over. And that may be another foul on Mitchell. It is. So Perry Mitchell has three fouls on her. Just like there you go. Bacon the inbound the ball. I think Apple's going to get ready to bring her out, try to save her maybe for the second half. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. She got three fouls on her just that quick. Ball bounced around, and that should be Applin ball. It is. It's Mary McKenzie's coming in. Yeah, you're right, Cole, coming in for Perry Mitchell. She's probably going to sit probably the rest of this <laughs> half, I would think. White's taking her time, bringing the ball down. Bacon County, they went to a man defense on us. Get the ball over to Clemens. Clemens thought about it. Back out to White. White thought about it, and they're going to call travel. They'll call it every time you take that first step without putting that ball down. They'll call travel every time. Yes, sir. So just like that, we turn the ball back over. Holton with the ball back over to Reynolds. There's a long shot. Miss Holton with the rebound, shoots it. She just missed. There's Thomas with a shot, battling under there. Thomas is a beast under that goal. And it's going to be Applin Ball. I guess it went out on Thomas. And that's Mims inbound the ball to White. Taking the time. Reynolds going to meet her about part of the way to get the ball over. Long shot by Mims. Misses. And the ball goes out. Erica Clemens come running in to get the rebound, but it was... So far off the mark, it missed her. Madison inbound the ball to Reynolds. And that's going to be on White. That's her first foul tonight on Kanaya White. Madison in the ball. There's the ball over to Thomas. Back over to Holton. Holton's looking underneath to Chauncey. Got her. Chauncey turns, spins, shoots, misses. A little too hard. Rebound by Thomas. Shoots and scores. Makes this ball game tied up. It's tied up. 11-11 on your Village Pizza scoreboard. And they called traveling on White. I thought it might have been a foul on Reynolds, but it wasn't. So we turned the ball over. 5.32 left in this second period. Bacon with the ball. Reynolds looking long pass underneath to Thomas. There she is. She shoots and scores. And that's their first lead of the night, 13-11, Bacon County, Village Pizza scoreboard. Got to find a way to stop K.K. Thomas. There's Barnum in the ball game. She shoots and scores a little too hard. 
It looked good, but a little too hard off the backboard. We get rebounces around. We come up with it. McKenzie does. McKenzie's driving. I think somebody got a hand in there. That might have been on Holton. It was. Yeah, Holton pushed her a little bit. Macy Holton, that's her first foul tonight. We're going to inbound the ball under the rim. We get it underneath to White, who shoots and misses. She goes down kind of hard. Reynolds comes up with it. There's Barnum to meet her. She's going to drive, took a little stutter step, and drove in, missed the layup. Barnum with the ball gets it back over to McKenzie. McKenzie's going to drive. They're going to press us a little bit. Down court to White. White with a three-point attempt, shoots. Oh, just missed. There's Erica Clemens with the ball. Back out front to Barnum. Barnum's going to drive back out to White over to McKenzie. McKenzie's going to drive one-handed shot, misses, gets her own rebound, takes it back up. But there's Thomas. I think the foul's going to be on K.K. Thomas. Yes, that is, ain't it? Yes, that's going to be three fouls on Thomas. So that's their leading score so far, and she's getting in foul trouble. McKenzie to the line. There's her first shot. Rolls around and falls in. It climbed in. Looked like it had a little four-wheel drive. That's her first points of this second period. Go. <laughs> McKenzie set. Looking. There's the shot, and it's good. Puts this ball game back tied again. Yep, back tied up. 13-13. Village beats the scoreboard. Bacon, no, wasting no time getting the ball down. They got it into somebody who just fired a shot up. There's Chauncey under the goal with a rebound. Shoots it up. I think she drew the foul. That might have been on Erica Clemens. It was. That's Clemens' first, but that's going to be a shooting foul, so she'll go to the line. Chauncey already has two points, and both of them are from the line. Oh, she missed that, and that looked good, though. Chauncey shots up, bounces off. She missed it. McKenzie with the rebound, gets to the Barnum. Way down court down here to White. White's going to drive. And let's see who that foul is on. That might have been on. That's on Reynolds. Apple Reynolds, that's her first foul tonight. We'll bring the ball in under the goal. Mims to inbound the ball, gets it in to. Yeah, got it into White, and they called traveling on her. Yeah, I don't think she got the ball down in time. Yeah, I think she, she was it. moving when she caught it. And she was. I think you're right. We're going to press him. Reynolds brings the ball down. There's Barnum all over. Erica Clemens right there. We're going to it underneath to Chauncey. There's Barnum trying to take it away. They're going to call travel on Chauncey. Tay Chauncey. McKenzie, the inbound the ball, gets it down here to Barnum. They have one person back pressing it. Get it over to, um, I think that was Mims with a long shot. Missed everything. Three-point attempt. Erica Clemens with the ball, gets it back underneath to Barnum. Barnum's going to spin and shoot. Just missed. Got a, got a rebound, takes it back up, still misses. Bacon County ball got batted out. We got people all over the ball. We just can't get nothing to fall. Bacon inbound the ball. There's Holton. Holton real quick over to Reynolds. Across the timeline. Reynolds handles the ball well around the back. Travel. That's going to be Applin County ball now. There's been a lot of traveling in this game here. They called it on both sides pretty consistent. Yeah, they? been saying, they're consistent on both sides, calling. Yep. Yeah, There's been a, a, lot, a lot of traveling. A lot of traveling. That's White with the ball. It's over there to Mims. Back out to Barnum. Barnum over to White. Underneath to Mims. Mims going to try to shoot, but that was Staten, I think, put a hand on it. Batted it down. It's going to be Applin ball. Mims inbound to White. Over on this left side. She's going to drive. Shoots it up. Bounces off the glass. Didn't go. Got her own rebound. Shoots it up again. Just won't fall. There's Mims. I think she drew the foul that time. Yes, she did, and that's going to be on state, and that's uh, three fouls on her, so they got a couple of them with three fouls. Caitlin Mims has got a chance to get her first points of the night. Caitlin 
so there's the shot. It's up. No good. And it looks like Parker's going to come in for Staten now, which I can see that with three fouls. They got a couple of them. They got Thomas and Staten with three fouls on them. Some foul trouble. We got Perry Mitchell with three. There's the second shot. Bounce around, and it goes in. Yes, that's what a their second lead of the night by one point. Yeah, we're up by one, but Reynolds brings it down quick. And I think that might have been on Clemens, wasn't it? Yep. Yep. That's Erica's second foul. That brings Reynolds to the line. Reynolds got a chance to tie it up right here, bounce around and misses. Now we're going to see Smith coming in. For Chauncey, this is the first time we've seen her, I think, ain't it? I believe Number 10. so. I don't remember her being in the game any other time. I don't think so. Reynolds second shot. Rolls around, and it goes in. Once again, tied up again. 14-14. <laughs> <laughs> uh, time out, Applin County, and folks, we'll be right back with you. Insure your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you. Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Folsom Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the back and let's do it too. All right, welcome back um, here to Appling County. Inbound the ball tries to get it underneath to Erica Clemens who shoots and scores just like that. That's Erica's first points tonight, 16-14. Village Pizza scoreboard in favor of your Appling County Lady Pirates. Reynolds to bring the ball down for Bacon County. Runs down, shoots, had the layup, missed it. Gets it over to Erica Clemens. There's Holden trying to chase her down. Clemens shoots just too hard, followed up by Mims who misses. And uh, we're shooting, there's McKenzie with, with the rebound. Her and Holden is battling over it. Battle under the goal here, so let's see what the call's going to be. Uh, oh, the and they're going to call it on right, McKenzie. Yep, okay. yep, they called a they called a technical foul on McKenzie, didn't they? Yeah, I, th I thought I saw him motion technical while just then, but I wasn't sure who he was calling it on. Unless he might have been calling it on both. Well, I seen him throw up one five, but. There's a two point. So technical. they've got Madison at the line to shoot two. Madison shoots the first one, misses. Wide to the right. Some great hustle down there, but I don't know what happened. And she shoots the second one and makes it. That's Madison's first points. So there was two technicals. So she's got another set of shots. And that one's good. Yeah, I don't know. The official held up his hand like it was two of them. Folks, I'm not really sure what happened, but and she made that one. So now it is 17-16, Bacon County. And Bacon County will retain the ball. Madison inbound it to Reynolds. 226 left in this half. Reynolds gonna drive, takes a wild shot, and it goes in.
did the. I don't know what happened. I, yeah. <laughs> it's 1916. She scored. There's White with a shot. Bounces off. White goes down hard. Bacon County with the ball. Reynolds, she's bringing it down quick. There's Barnum there. She's going to kind of throw it up underneath. Barnum comes down with the rebound. She's going to handle it herself. Gets it over to Erica Clemens. Three-point attempt. Line drive. Shot scores. A great shot by Erica Clemens. 19-19-146 on your Village Pizza scoreboard. Folks, if you ain't here, you're missing a barn burner. <laughs> Reynolds comes down, and I think she threw a foul, and that's going to be on Barnum. That's going to be on Barnum. That's her first foul tonight. And that's going to bring Reynolds to the line. Once again, Bacon County has a chance to go back up on top. I have to see if we can get some clarification on the technicals. Yeah, I was kind of confused time. on that. Yeah, I was, I was confused why there was two. Well, that's what I was wondering. Yeah, because he caught two, but he, he only held up, and it was the same girl at the line, so I don't know. Missed both of them shots. White comes down with the ball. But I think the foul might have been on Reynolds, and it was. So that's going to give her two fouls. And that should put us in the... Should be in the bonus. I think she that should be shots there. If I'm looking at the scoreboard right, I believe both teams are in the bonus. Huh? If the scoreboard, if the home, if the scoreboard in here is correct, then both teams are technically in the bonus, aren't they? Yeah, I think so. I think you're right. Well, White shoots her first shot and misses it. Kanaya White. Shoots the second one, bounces off. There was Erica Clemens trying to get rebound. Chauncey's back in the game. She gets it over to Holton. Uh, there's Barnum on Holton. And they're going to call a charge on, on Holton. Yep. McKenzie then bound the ball to Barnum. Barnum's going to drive down. She had a wide open lane. She saw it. She's going to take a shot. Misses. The Applin ball. We inbound the ball to Barnum. Barnum thought about a long three-pointer. She comes to the top of the key. Looking, trying to get some long cross-court pass to White underneath to Mims. Mims shoots and scores. 21-19, a minute left in this second half. And I think that was a foul on Barnum, wasn't it? Just like that? Yep. Uh, yes, sir. And that's going to bring Reynolds to the line again. I tell you what, they're calling it. They're, they're. Reynolds with a first shot, and it's in, and it's good. 21 20. Minute six. Reynolds with a second shot, bounces off the rim. Chauncey with the rebound. We're trying to tie her up, and we did. And that's going to be Bacon County ball under the goal. Madison the inbound at the Reynolds. Reynolds moves to her left, trying to drive to the lane. Drops the ball. Barnum picks it up. She's got White right there. Too, let her too far with it. She had to just let her too far with it. It goes out, so it's going to be bacon ball. 53.9 seconds left. Madison inbound to Reynolds. We're going to put a little pressure. We're going to meet them right there. Barnum's going to back up a little bit and let them come across. Keep her honest. She dishes underneath trying to get it to Chauncey, but McKenzie's just too tall. Bats it away. Bacon County ball under the goal. Madison looking, 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 trying to find somebody. Finally gets it underneath to Chauncey, who shoots. And we batted away. And Mims come down hard. And that's going to be a foul on number 25. That's going to be on Parker. So we're going to retreat to the other end of the court and take some shots. We're hanging on a one-point lead here. Cole. 
Got a chance to put a little few more on there going that's, into the half. That's what I was going to say. Caitlin could easily get us up by at least three points yep. here. That shot there looks good, and it's in. Two-point lead, 22-20. Village Pizza scoreboard. Second shot, and it's good. Good job, Caitlin Mims. 41 seconds. Clock starts. Reynolds with the ball behind the back. She can handle the ball, can't she? <laughs> She's going to drive all the way herself. Oh, man, what a shot. And scores. 30 seconds left here. 23-22. Barnum with the ball, looking underneath, gets it over to White underneath, who dribbles the ball, shoots it, it rolls around, it goes in, and the points are good. Basket is good, and the foul is on Parker. 25-22. Kanaya White to the line for a three-point attempt here. If she can make this. Shot is up. It rolls around. Oh, rolled out. He, Erica, Erica Clemens there battling. That should be pirate ball. It is. Erica Clemens with great hustle up under there. She wasn't going to be denied. Oh, that was a great job by her. Give us a chance to get up by five you points. You ain't going kidding. To. Yeah, because this be big right here. Out to Barnum. Holden was right there. Light that got it. That was a tip ball. There's Barnum back over to Erica Clemens, back underneath to Mims, I think it is. Back out to Clemens. Clemens thought about a three-pointer. Barnum shoots and scores. 27, 22, five seconds left. Reynolds coming down with the ball. Driving, driving, shoots, miss, gets her own rebound. The point bounces off, no good. Folks, that's going to be the end of your first half with a score of 27-22. Your Lady Pirates with a late run here, scoring some points. A lot of action, a lot of action, Cole. Yes, sir. Yeah, this is a – Oh, my this, goodness. It's been a good game just with one half. It has. I mean, from the get-go, it started off a little slow, a little sluggish, it seemed like. We were getting some points. But now it has just amped up 110%. This crowd's into it. Everybody's into it. These officials, I tell you what, they're they're calling both sides pretty even. I mean, well, I think everybody still had to get kind of back in routine after coming off these holidays. Oh yeah, everybody was probably still a little sluggish from all of that. Oh I yeah, know like I am. Oh, I know I am. I, I ate too much at y'all's house the other night. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, anyway, I tell you what, um, it's been an exciting half. Um, this way you got. It. I'm gonna, some stats. Yeah, I'm going to say some stats here. This Apple Reynolds, she had two points uh, that first quarter, but since then she has racked up um, five, uh, six more points. That makes her eight points so far. Um, K.K. Thomas was lighting it up. She had um, four points that first period, and then she had five uh, the second period, but got in foul trouble early. So they took her out of the ball game. so we ain't seen her no more. Well, she was their leading scorer in um, – Chelsea Madison from the line has three points. And then on our side, Caitlin Mims has come away with five points. That, I was going to say, she's not only been shooting ball, but she's been coming down with the ball rebounding as well. Yeah, she's well. done a great job. I tell you, um, uh, Barnum only has two points, but just her ball handling skills and the way she's been doing and handling stuff has been just just awesome. Um, Erica Clemens coming to the ball game. She's got five points herself. She done real good this second period. Um, Kanaya White has just been a general out there. You know, she's done really, really well. Uh, we got um, a couple of girls with two fouls. Perry Mitchell got in foul trouble. She had no points. This and, uh, McKenzie has been doing a, a great job. But other than that, I mean, we're, we've made a late run there. And some, a yep. lot of action, a lot of hustle, and I've seen some great stuff out of our Lady yep. Pirates. McKenzie, we're going to have to see if that was two fouls on her or not with the technicals. Yeah, I think I'm going to – you know, when we take our little break here for the half right here, I think I'm going to go down there and see if I can get some clarification on that and find out what happened there. Yeah, just but uh, with that being said, folks, um, if you're not here, you need you got time to get on up here, come up here and watch the second half of this ball game because it's going to be exciting if it's anything like this first. And the, but, boy, um, and and the boys' game will be right after it. I yep. saw their uh, – the Red Raiders, correct? Yep, Red Raiders. Yeah, their, bas their boys' basketball team walked in a while ago. So 
I, yep. think, I think that would be a good game as well. I right? think it's going to be a real good game. I think both teams are pretty well evenly matched. Um, so this ought to be be real exciting. Well, folks, we're going to take a break, and we'll be back with you here in just a little bit for the second half. We'll see if I can get some clarification on what happened earlier and stuff. And uh, y'all come on and be back with us, me and Cole. Community centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. your car because some people never learn to park that's simple human sense ask rents and rents insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Folsom Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the back and let's do it. Do it. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. Insure your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you. Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Folsom Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the back and let's do it. Do it. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. Insure your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you.
football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Folsom Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the back and let's do it. Do it. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. your car because some people never learn to park that's simple human sense ask rents and rents insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Folsom Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the back and let's do it. Do it. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. All right, welcome back, folks, here in Appling County at the high school gym where your lady pirates are taking on your Bacon County Lady Red Raiders. Uh, the score is 27-22. It was an exciting first half. Yes, sir. That like, seemed like a real short break just then. It did. I, I, I mean, that did seem like a short break. Um, that, but that's what which me and our camera guy, Jackson Hartley, that's what we were talking about. The game doesn't feel like it's been that long, but when you look at it actual time-wise, we just spent 50 minutes in the first half. I know, right? It's just, well, Bacon County inbound the ball. Uh, Holton with the ball. She gets it out the top there. I think that was, I uh, can't remember who it was, but got it over to Chauncey. Chauncey traveled. And uh, some of the same stuff we've been seeing <laughs> the first half, a lot of traveling. Um, Applin inbound the ball. White with the ball gets it down here to Hayes. Here's Reynolds comes up, sneaks up behind him. And that was God. White with a three-point. That's a good way to start this second half. 30-22. to 22. Your Lady Pirates on your Village Pizza scoreboard. Reynolds to bring the ball down. Reynolds looking, gets it over to, that's number three, Staten. Back out to Holton. Holton tries to find Thomas. Thomas is back in the game. Yep. We stole the ball. That was White stole the ball, comes down, but Staten knocks it out of bounds. That should be Lady Pirate ball under their goal. Hayes to bring the ball in, throws it into McKenzie. McKenzie back over to Barnum. Yeah, that was Barnum with the shot, wasn't it? Perry Mitchell's back in the ball game. But we didn't capitalize on nothing then. Bacon get the ball, Reynolds with it, brings it down real quick, gets it over to Staten. Staten's going to drive one handed, left handed shot, misses. Hayes with the rebound, but says she traveled. Hey. 
Inbound the ball. Bacon County does underneath looking for Thomas. Thomas turns, shoots, and scores. She, uh, she's got three fouls on her. Um, she came out early in that second period because of it, and they've got her back in the ball game now, and she is a force to be reckoned with playing that center position. There's a shot by McKenzie. And that's a foul on said number 15. That's on McKenzie. Yeah, I think he said he cracked. So if that's her. right, that may be four fouls on her. Oh, yeah. Did, did you get any clarification on the technical? Well, we were, they were kind of confused, too. It sounded like there was a personal foul and a technical foul, but the same girls had the shots. There's Thomas with a shot and scores again. K.K. Thomas, 30 to 26. But, um, yeah, they were a little confused. They were going to try to talk to the official to find out for sure about the fouls and stuff and what it was because their understanding was a technical foul and a personal foul. Afton County with the ball gets underneath the haze, but somebody tried to block it. I think that might have been Chauncey, and she might have fouled her. Yep, that was on Chauncey. That's her first foul tonight, Tay Chauncey. It's going to bring Leah Hayes to the line, looking for her first points of the night. First shot's up, line drive misses. Erica Clemens coming in the ball game for McKenzie. Kenzie's got a lot of fouls on her. They're going to need her on the stretch. Hayes, the second shot. Yep, she crossed the line too quick, trying to go get the rebound. <laughs> so it's going to be bacon ball. Charles inbound to Reynolds. Reynolds over to the right to Holton. Back in the corner found uh, State, and I think it was State and falls down, and they're going to call travel. I think Bacon County's wanting a timeout. I thought their coach was trying to call a timeout. I don't know what happened there. Barnum with the ball. Gets it over the corner to White. Back out to Barnum. Barnum looking, looking for Perry Mitchell, and nothing there. Back over to Barnum. Barnum underneath to Hayes. Hayes is in trouble. They're all over. Little Reynolds pops up with it. And she's going to bring it down quick. Dumps it underneath and got it to Staten. But there's Hayes right here and the ball sticks <laughs> on the rim. It's going to be pirate ball. I have had one other games we we broadcast. Were you, were you here? Yeah, and, and the official, I think, jumped up there and got it stuck in there pretty hard, wasn't it? Yeah. Because yeah, I was a tall official that night, too. He could, re yeah. he could reach the Big rim. Big, tall guy, yeah. So, yeah. That These guys here said, we ain't going to try it. We'll just take another ball and just bounce it out of there. <laughs> yeah, because I think he tried it a couple of times, and he finally done it, and it actually went in the, rim, went in the goal, didn't it? I think so. Yeah. Sampling County ball. Everybody retreats to the other end. Barnum brings it down. Top of the key. Gets it over to White. White's going to drive. Gets it underneath to Hayes. Hayes shoots, misses. Hayes battling for the rebound. And it's going to be Bacon County ball. They tied it up underneath. 30-26. 5.06 left. In the third period. Village Pizza scoreboard. The Lady Pirates on top. Reynolds with the ball, brings it down, gets it over to Holton in the corner. Way long shot back out the top of the key to Reynolds. Back over to Staten. Staten's looking for somebody in. Dangerous pass over there trying to find Chauncey, but Erica Clemens all over. She throws it out of bounds. Yeah. And it looks like uh, Madison's going to come in for Holton, wasn't it? I believe so. Barnum with the ball. Perry Mitchell looking underneath to Erica. Hey, back out the top of the key. There's uh, White with a long three-point attempt. Oh, that almost bounced in the second time. Hey, she's had several go in from the three-point line tonight, hasn't she? She's got one. Well, she had one earlier that they called back. That's right. You're right. Old. Sure did. That was Erica Clemens that shot the three that went in. That's right. 
No, I think White did too. I yeah, but they didn't. Them, but remember, they waved it off because it was. No, I think they both have it, <coughs> don't they? Uh -uh. I thought White. I thought yeah, White I did too. One. I think. Remember, there was one of them was a three-point shot, and then they waved it off. Yeah, I remember that one, but I yeah. thought White I, had one right here. On. No, nah, that was the. Who shot? Who shot the three-point right here at the beginning? That of was this er half? Erica Clemens, I think. Mm -mm, she wasn't in the in to begin with. No, wait a minute. Who did I put? I know I put her down there. That might have been white. I was thinking it was white. You know and what? And here she goes. Yep, and I didn't and uh, mark it. You're right. I don't know who they called that. Who they said uh, knocked that ball out of bounds for the Red Raiders. Three-point Erica Clemens. Erica shoot a three-pointer, 33-26 on your Village Pizza scoreboard. Bacon brought the ball down quick. Erica Clemens with the steal. Gets it over to Barnum. I think that was Staten that snuck up behind her and batted it away. Macy Holton back in the ball game for Johnson. Appling County ball to Leah Hayes, brings it in. There's Erica Clemens. Back over to Barnum. Barnum thought about it. There's White. Oh, she thought about it. Light got the ball knocked away. There's Clemens. Another three-point attempt. And I think that might have got a hand on it. No, nope, they're going to say uh, Bacon County ball. Caitlin Mims is going to come in for White. Reynolds brings the ball down across the timeline. Looking to the corner, that's Madison. Madison's driving, driving, throws it back out to Holton, almost threw it away. Holton had to try to save it, but we got the ball. There's Barnum coming down. There's the layup, shoots and scores. 35-26, 3.07 left. Oh, called carrying the ball. So that's going to turn the ball back over to Affleck County. And Bacon County's going to call timeout, and we'll be right back with you. We insure your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you. Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Folsom Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the back and let's do it. Do it. All right, we're back with you. Appling County with the ball. Barnum, top of the key. Gets it over to Perry Mitchell. Back over to Barnum. Over to Mims. But Holden, Macy Holden comes in with the steal. There's Barnum all over, slapping it away. But Holden turns, spins, shoots, and scores. That is Macy Holden. That, that Holden's was, first um, points. That, that was a great job by, by Miss Holden right there. Yeah, that little spin move. Uh, Caitlin Mims traveled. Yeah, I think she stutter stepped right there. Yeah, she done. I think she was going to pass it and then changed her mind, or shoot it and then was going to pass it. And I think she's going to shoot it and she's trying to stop, but couldn't get stopped. Fully. <laughs> the brakes didn't work. Reynolds over to Holton. Barnum bats it away, but Reynolds comes up with it. Reynolds moving to her left, move back to the middle, throws a prayer up, and it goes in. I think them points might be good. Points are good, and the foul was on number four. That was going to be on Erica Clemens. Apple Reynolds to the line, 
Reynolds with the shot and makes it. 35-31, Village Pizza School Board. The Lady Pirates still on top. We'll bring it in real quick. Two minutes, 10 seconds left. Gets it to Hayes, back out to Perry Mitchell. Barnum there's the corner to Erica Clemens, back over to Perry Mitchell, back to the top of the key. Barnum with a long three-point attempt, bounces off the rim. Kaitlin Mims under battling for it. Madison trying to handle it for Bacon County and uh, couldn't. There's Barnum with a shot. And I think this is going to call a foul on. That was on uh, Staten, I believe it is. Yes. That's her fourth foul. That's going to bring Barnum to the line. Right, Chauncey back in the ball game. Barnum with a shot. Bounces off the rim. Misses. Perry Mitchell with the rebound. Shoots it. Scores. 37-31. Reynolds with the ball. She's looking for something between the legs. That girl could dribble a ball like you wouldn't believe. She loses the ball. Hayes comes up with it. Look for somebody. Dribbles out of trouble. Gets it down here to Barnum wisely. Barnum moving to the top of the lane, drives the lane, shoots it up, misses, but there's Thomas with the ball. She throws it down here wisely to Reynolds, but they lose it, and looks like to me, they call traveling on Perry Mitchell. They did. I think the same thing like happened. Uh, that little stutter step yeah, trying to throw it. Just trying to stop in time to, to stop and throw it. Reynolds with the ball. Reynolds looking to the corner to Madison. Madison's going to drive towards the lane. She wanted to get it underneath the Chauncey, I think it was, but nothing there. There's Thomas with the ball, and it goes in. I think them points are going to be good. Basket is good, and uh, I think it's going to be on Perry Mitchell. That K.K. Thomas is an athlete. My goodness, she can play. There's her shot. She misses. Hayes comes down with a rebound, gets it over to Barnum. Barnum's looking for somebody. She's looking down court. I think she's looking for Erica Clemens, but she was covered. Perry Mitch with the ball back over to Barnum. Barnum over there to um, Mims. Shoots and misses. No foul. Yeah, it barely missed that three-point there. Hit the back of the rim. Yeah, she's bringing the ball over again. That's the second time that's been called on her. So that's going to be Appling County ball. Mitchell inbounds the ball to Barnum. 40 seconds left in this third period. This third period is going quick. We just talked about the quickness of it, and it's all going quick. Mitchell with the ball back out to Barnum, back over to Mims. Mims going to try a three-point attempt. Bounces off the rim, but there's Mitchell with the rebound and shoots and scores. 39-33, 20 seconds left in this um, third period. Reynolds is driving to her left. Try to, kind of a trick shot there. Looks like they're going to call a foul on somebody. That is going to be on 23 for, 23 them. for them. That is going to be, uh, that's going to be on KK Thomas. Yeah. Oh, she's got four. Yeah, I think she reached over is what she did. Trying, yep. Barnum with a three-point attempt. And that's going to be the end of your third period. She yeah. just missed that. and uh, Just bounced off the ring. It sure did. And your score is going to be your Lady Pirates 39, Bacon County Red Raiders 33, and that's going to be the end of your third period. And we'll be right back with you to start at this fourth period. Uh, stay with us. We'll be right back. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. your car because some people 
Never learn to park. That's simple human sense. Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you. One. All right, folks, we're back with you to start of this um, fourth period. This is it, 39-33, you Lady Pirates on top. McKenzie inbound ball, the ball to White. Looks like the, the Raiders going to set up like a 2-3 zone. Going to make the shoot down. We get the ball, try to get it inside to Hayes, but there's Holton. Macy Holton comes out with it. She's going to go up for the layup, shoots, and scores. And they scored the first point to this uh, fourth period, 39-35. They just won't go away. Barnum over to White. White looking back over to Barnum. Barnum to White. White's going to drive, pulls up, shoots, misses. But there's Parker for the rebound. Long pass over here to Reynolds. Gets it to her down court to Chauncey, who's all alone, shoots, misses. And she traveled. All right, Applin County has Barnum with the ball. Barnum back over to McKenzie. McKenzie, a little fake, pulls up and shoots a line drive. It almost crawled in. Hayes tried to get the rebound. Look like Chauncey might have fouled her. See if that's on 21. If it is, she's in. Yep. It is. That's Tay Chauncey's safe foul. That's going to bring Hayes to the line. Hayes shoots her first shot, rolls around, misses. Now we got number four, Kia Brown coming in. I think it's the first time we've seen Brown, ain't it? Coming in for Chauncey. Uh, I believe so. Hey, second shot, misses. There's Perry Mitchell battling for the rebound. They're trying to tie her up. Jump ball, and it's going to be Bacon County ball. We're still looking for our first points of this um, fourth period. Reynolds with the ball, and that's going to be a foul on Kanaya White. Madison inbound to Reynolds. That happened right in front of our bench. Over to Holton. Holton looking back over here, trying to pass, but Kanaya White almost stole that ball, but Reynolds takes it, runs around the corner, and just one-hands it in. 39-37, back to a two-point two deficit. Two-point deficit, that's right. We get over to Perry Mitchell. Mitchell's looking inside. Long cross-court pass over here to White. Dangerous pass. Back into McKenzie, who tries to drive, loses the ball, but Holden comes up with it. But there's Barnum to steal it back. Barnum's looking for somebody. Gets it over to McKenzie. McKenzie's coming down. There's White. Thought about back into McKenzie, driving, shoots, and goes in. Great pass. 41-37, stole, stole the ball again. Back over to Barnum. Barnum shoots and scores. 43-37, Bacon County's going to call a timeout. And, uh, folks, we're going to call a timeout real quick, and we'll be right back with you. Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Falls from Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Let's better get the back and let's do it. Do it. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. All right, welcome back. Bacon County inbound the ball. We're going to put a little pressure on. We're going to press them down here now. Reynolds with the ball. We're going to try to keep her back. She ain't got a, she's finally across the timeline. But this girl can drive, and they're going to call 
Appling County ball. I guess um, oh, she used it. She kind of pushed off with her arm, so that's a foul on Reynolds. Appling County ball. White brought the ball down, gets low to Barnum, back over to Hayes. Barnum with a long three-point attempt, almost kissed it off the glass there. Holden come up with it. There's Clemens. No, took was, it away from her. No, that was White. Hayes that, got it. White took it away from her. Oh, White took it away. That's right. Look at Barnum with a one-handed shot. He shoots and scores. 45-37, 5-19 left. But Reynolds is driving down. And that's going to be on Barnum. And Bacon's fixing to have a good bit of late. Oh, good they're going to bring Okay, they're bringing in uh, 23. Thomas, Chauncey. 20. And uh, three, I believe. And that's Staten. Okay. Yep, they're down to the wire now, so they got to bring in the guns. <laughs> Madison, the inbound, the ball for them right up under their goal. We batted it away the first time. Tried to get it underneath to Thomas. We batted away again. That's McKenzie. They're trying to get the feed to Thomas here. Madison again trying to bring it in. Throws it over here. Gets it to Reynolds. Reynolds back out top to Staten. Staten looking. We tie her up. Should be Applin ball. Good job by Kanaya White. That's going to be Applin County ball. 5.07 on your Village Pizza scoreboard. Naya White with the ball, top of the key. Barnum to her left, gets the ball to Barnum, back over to White. White moves around to McKenzie over here to the right side, back to Hayes in the middle. White's going to try a three-point attempt and scores. Naya White, 48-37. Real quickly, Bacon County brings the ball down. White does, gets it over to Madison. Madison tries to get, but there was Barnum to kind of Put a paw on it and knock it out. White has been a shooting machine tonight. Oh, for real. Should, should have three three points. Yep. But one of them got called back in the travel. You're right. So, and they turn the ball over, and it's going to be White's, Applin County ball. White's also got a couple of two points, don't she? Who? White. She has a couple of two point shots as yeah. well. Yeah, she does. McKenzie with the ball, gets it over to Mitchell. Oh, they're going to call travel. I just thought that that little step pass just, I don't know. They'll call it every time. Reynolds tries to get it underneath the state, and state and turns and shoots real quick. Almost scored just in. There's Chauncey trying to get the ball. That's going to be Bacon County ball. I'm not sure. I guess we kicked the ball is what it was. Yes, it hit someone's foot, I think. Yep. Dead ball hit the back of the backboard. It's going to be Appling County ball. McKenzie brings it in to White. 354 counting. White slowing the ball down, gets it over to Barnum underneath to Hayes. Hayes cross court, dangerous pass, that cross court pass, trying to get him to McKenzie, got it stolen away. Chauncey batted it away over to Reynolds. Reynolds going to drive around the back, shoots, misses, almost went in. Staten comes out with it, dishes it back underneath to Thomas. Thomas turns and shoots, almost scores. McKenzie jumps up, gets the rebound, back over to Madison. Madison shoots, misses. Thomas with, bats it back in, saves the ball. Chauncey tried to go up with it, so let's see if that was a foul on 23. That's going to be on Perry Mitchell. That's, that's her five fouls on her. She's out of the ball game. So it looks like Erica Clemens is going to come back in the ball game four because that's five fouls on Mitchell. She's played a hard-fought game, though. Yeah, she played really good. Crowd's clapping for her. Good job. She's done a great job. That's going to bring Chauncey to the line. Chauncey looks, shoots, misses. Five. 
Chauncey set for a second shot. There's the shot. It's on the way. Bounces off the side of the rim, but Thomas comes up with the ball. Kicks it back out to Reynolds up the top up here. Reynolds going to try a three-point attempt. That bounces around, but Mitchell cut. Um, McKenzie comes down with a rebound. Barnum with the ball. Barnum driving down quick. Gets it over to White. White going to try a three-point attempt, man. It's good. Kanaya White has caught fire. And then she's going to foul the girl. <laughs> That's three fouls. <laughs> That's not a bad foul there. No, it, it reading, really though. ain't. It really ain't. 51 37, 254 left on your village pizza scoreboard. Lady Pirates on top. Bacon County inbound the ball, loses it. Barnum comes up with it. She's driving down, holding there, but she's going to go all the way to the rim. Too hard, but Hayes gets the rebound, shoots and scores. To Leah Hayes, gets her first two points of the night. Uh, I don't know what happened. I think they lost the ball on the inbound. So, Appling County took the ball back over. Gives it underneath to Eric Clemens, who shoots and scores. That was a great pass. Found Erica Clemens sneaking on the side of the back side of the lane there for an easy layup. 55-37, 224 left in this ball game. Lady Pirates on top. Staten with the ball, pulls up one-handed, left-handed shot. Nope, called charging on her. And that should be five fouls on her. Yeah, I was thinking that time it was yep. charging on Bacon. I thought McKenzie was standing still the whole time. She was. She was. And I'm glad because the ball went in. Applin <laughs> <laughs> yeah. County with the ball. Barnum to bring it down. Looking to add to the totals here. McKenzie. McKenzie faked the pass and goes in and takes the shot and misses. But there's Hayes. Three seconds in the lane. Nah, they caught a foul on her, didn't they? They might have caught a reach up. Like reaching over on her. Yeah, that's what they called a foul on Hayes. I thought it was three seconds in the lane, but they called a foul on her, so that's going to come back down. And so that's going to bring Madison, Chelsea Madison, to the line. Was that Hayes' fourth foul? Yep. Okay. One more shot, 55-38, 2.06 left. There's the shot. It's on the way, misses. McKenzie got the rebound, tried to get it over to Barnum, lost the ball. Madison comes up with it, kicks it back out to Reynolds, who's dangerous. She's looking for K.K. Thomas, tries to get it to her. There's McKenzie there with the steal. McKenzie drives down across the timeline. Holden meets her there, kind of bumps into her. She loses the ball. Chauncey comes up with it, and she traveled. Appling County ball. Minute 44. Got number 20 in for us. I didn't see her come in. Uh, that's uh, that's um, Zaniah McKenzie. I, was gonna say it's the other I didn't see her come in. There's a long three point attempt. Who'd she come in? By Samaria McKenzie. She came in for Barnum, I believe. Samaria McKenzie just scored, a running shot through the lane. And Bacon County called a timeout. Uh, let's take a break, William. Okay, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with you. Insure your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you. All right, folks, welcome back. Minute 26 left in this ball game. Your Lady Pirates are on top, 57 to 38. Made a quick run here on your Village Pizza scoreboard. Uh, Bacon County with the ball, comes down across the timeline, and that's Reynolds with the ball. Reynolds can handle the basketball really well. Throws it in, we have um, Tori Solomon in the ball game, bats it away. And that looks like we're gonna have Kalia Smith coming in the ball game. We've got a couple people Kay in for Erica Clemens. Caitlin Mims is back out there now again. Yeah, Caitlin Mims is back in the ball game. 
Zanaya McKenzie's in the ball game. Looks like we're getting ready to bring another one in. That might be Fountain. Jayla Fountain looking like getting ready to come in the ball game. They moving the ball around. That's uh, back over to Reynolds. Reynolds going to drive, throw one up, gets her own rebound. And be Appling County ball, and it is. That's going to be number 24, Jayla Fountain. It's going to come in for Talia Hayes. As I get to see some of these younger players play a little bit. This is going to be good. Zanaya McKenzie, the inbound the ball over one. to Smith. Smith over to um, Mims. Back over to McKenzie to Solomon. Solomon's going to pull up and shoot. Just misses. Gets her own rebound. Fires it back up. No call. And uh, they tied it up. And that's going to be uh, Bacon County ball. 33 seconds left in this ball game. Bring it down. There's a uh, number 10 for Bacon County. Shoots and misses. Caitlin Mims got that rebound. Yep. McKenzie with the ball. Long, dangerous pass over there. Stolen by Terry Smith for Bacon County. Back over to Tory Solomon. Back underneath. The Smith shoots. It rolls around and it goes in. 15. And that was Smith with two points. That's the ball game. And that's going to be your ball game with a final score of 59-38 in favor of your Lady Pirates. Uh, this was a close game up until right here at the end. I was going to say, this, about halfway through this fourth quarter is when the Pirates started pulling away. Yeah, this was this was um, back and two, back and two. I tell you, this was a, this was a battle. <laughs> But um, we're going to take a quick break real quick. I'm going to figure up some of these totals, and we'll be right back with you. Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Falls from Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the back and let's do it. Do it. Community centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. your car because some people never learn to park that's simple human sense ask rents and rents insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you one all right folks we're back with you do a recap here on this ball game with your lady pirates that took on a uh, Bacon County Lady Red Raiders and all and we come out on top of this this contest 59 to 38 I'm gonna tell you Oh, it was, it was close all the way. And we just kind of, we started pulling away right at the end of that third. And then we come in. They actually, they come back on us at the beginning of the fourth right there. And we just finally just started making some things happen and getting some points. But I tell you, that was a credit to, um, to Kanaya White and Erica Clemens. Kanaya White was dropping threes like it was nothing. Uh, yeah. She come away with 18 points tonight. If I got it figured right and had Erica Clemens with 12, we also had... Uh, Samaria Barnum had eight points. Uh, Samaria McKenzie, 11 points. Perry Mitchell had six points. We had some people getting foul trouble. But then on the other side over here, they had, that kind of helped us. They had a couple of people that got in some foul trouble. One of them was that KK Thomas. But while she was in there, she scored 15 points and didn't even hardly play some of the first half and stuff like that because of 
foul trouble. Foul trouble. Yes, sir. Um, and then they had uh, that Apple Reynolds who was handling the ball for them. She was feisty. And I tell you, she she scored 13 points herself. Of course, Macy Holton done a great job. She come in and scored a lot of points. Yeah, Tay Chauncey was a beast up under there, and Chelsea Madison was another one. Great ball players from Bacon County over there. This thing could have went any way. It was back and two, back and two. Yeah. We just had some good things, but I tell you, they were some. A lot of mistakes by both teams, I think. There was. And like like you just called out, the score says one thing, but based off like the num the numbers you called from each player, it, this was a pretty equal team. It, it was. I other. mean, it was 11 to 8 the first period, 22 to 22 the second period. Ain't that right? Yeah. 39-33 yep. at the end of the third, and then we walk, we come away with a 59-38. We held them, we we kept them in check on that fourth period. So yeah, and that, and that first half, the the lead the lead was back and forth the whole time. It was, it was. It, we just it wasn't until like the probably the last minute that we came and got the lead back to go into halftime. You're right, and uh, we played a hard, but I was proud of our girls the way they done. They they looked really really good and got a chance to get some of our younger players in the ball game right here at the last and all, but. You know, we passed. I seen some good things about passing the ball around. I seen some great yep. passes. It looked really, really good. Yeah, that's one thing I've seen since from the very first game that we've done to up to now. That's one thing I've seen that's probably improved the most is the passing. The passing. That's right. Um, smart passes. Yes. You know, instead of trying to force the ball in place, we made some smart passes, moved the ball around, was a little more patient. It seemed like. Um, I like what I saw. I'm gonna tell you what the, the officials. They called it both ways. They they, they, they were very fair. I, they, they really were. They, I mean, they caught, but they caught everything. They was traveling. They was, you know, charging. They was palming the ball. You, you name it. They, they, just, yeah, they if it did. happened, they caught it. Yeah, they didn't miss a miss a thing. No, they they caught it like it was. So they done good. But um, folks, we're um, I think we're gonna cut out here for a minute. I'm fishing to go see if I can get some um some rosters here for a Bacon County team here and yeah. um. We got about ten minutes till the start of the boys' game here. Yep, and if and if you got a chance to get here, the crowd's getting in here. This is exciting, you know. Playing Bacon County, so they're gonna bring a crowd right down the road, fifteen minutes away. So y'all get here. This ought to be exciting right here. Look at this Bacon County team. They look like a scrappy bunch, and of course our guys. We know what they can do, and also let's um come on up here and join us and stuff, or or tune in and and uh, enjoy this with us. Yep, and we'll be right back with you. Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Folsom Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the back and let's do it. Do it. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. your car because some people never learn to park that's simple human sense ask rents and rents insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Folsom Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the back and let's do it. Do it. Healthy 
Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. your car because some people never learn to park that's simple human sense ask rents and rents insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Folsom Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get in the back and let's do it. Do it. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. insure your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you. Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Folsom Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get in the back and let's do it. Do it. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. Insure your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you. Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Folsom Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the back and let's do it. Do it.
Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. your car because some people never learn to park that's simple human sense ask rents and rents insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Folsom Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the back and let's do it. Do it. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. insure your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you. Right, welcome back, folks, here to your Appling County High School gym. Um, we just saw an exciting game with your Lady Pirates defeated uh, Bacon County, Lady Red Raiders. Now we're getting ready for this boys' matchup, men's matchup here. Um, guys will be taking on the Bacon County uh, boys' basketball team, and they're calling out the starting starters now for Appling County. Uh, the starters that I've seen for Bacon County is uh, Steve Morgan, number three, uh, San Diego Bazell, number four, LaMarcus Wright, number 12, uh, Xavier Harris, number 23, and Keyshawn Holmes, number 35, be starting for Bacon County. We'll see what we got going on here for Appling here in just a few minutes. But um, welcome here. Uh, I am David Heron. If you're just tuning in and all, and with me tonight is Cole Gardner. Um, Chris Floyd could not be with us tonight. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of something funny, something bad we could crack on. We'll get him in a little bit. Yeah. But. Uh, who, who we got starting for us? We got number two for us, which is... Uh, yeah, that's uh, on top of you. There's the jump ball. Bacon County gets the tip. Right up, off the bat, number 23 drives in, and I think there's going to be a foul called. It was a shooting foul, and that's going to be on number... Five. That's going to be on Nance, LJ Nance. That's going to bring Xavier Harris to the line. Harris shoots his first one and misses, rolls off the rim. So, so our other starts from number 10, uh, Hakeem Barnum. Yep, right? that's Hakeem Barnum. Number 12. Uh, this is the second shot. Number 12 is going to be Bryant Carter. He's a young kid. And number 11. Number 11. That's going to be DJ Solomon. Bacon County steals the ball from us. Right off the bat, that's number four. Going to lay up. Lay up as uh, Santiago Brazil. Two points. They're going to press us right off the bat. We get it over to Nance. Nance is going to drive it down. Dishes underneath to 
Barnum, who couldn't get a handle on it and loses the ball. And uh, right off the bat, both teams have started fast pace. And uh, Harris traveled with the ball. We saw a lot of this at the last game, didn't we? The girls game, a lot of traveling. Tapia with the ball. Tapia over to uh, Solomon. Solomon back over to Tapia. Tapia at the top of the key. Back over to Solomon. Solomon with a three-point attempt. Bounces off the rim. Rebound up under there by Carter. Carter shoots it back up. Couldn't get it to fall. We couldn't get the rebound. Bacon County with the rebound. Comes back out. Gets it out to Xavier Harris. Harris slips a little bit. Like to fell down. Kicks it over to number four. That's Brazil. Brazil shoots. Misses. They got a rebound underneath. Big guy under there. Number 12. Back out to 23. Three-point misses. Bounces off the backboard. And he traveled. That is number 12. That is LaMarcus Wright who's battling under there. Kid's a beast of a kid. He's got to wear a football uniform at one time or another. Yeah, bacon. We get the ball. Got, got some good size on their team coming in here. Well, they had a really good team football member yeah, this they, past season. They had a great season. They Also, soccer, they done really well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember the soccer team doing really good last year. Uh, went pretty far in the playoffs, if I remember right. But, uh, they really did. Well, um, Brian Carter just shoots the scores. It's 2-2 two to two on your Village Pizza scoreboard. We're going to try to press them, try to get them in some trouble. we got a two-on-one down there now. Pulls up with a shot. That was right with the shot. And didn't make it. Nance has got the ball, tried to dish it underneath. The Solomon shoots and scores. No, that was um, Barnum, I mean. I was going to say, that's Hakeem Barnum. Yep, Hakeem Barnum. We're going to press a little bit more on them. Morgan, Steve Morgan with the ball, passes off. There's a shot, misses. Bryant comes up with it. But Harris comes in and gets, steals it away. And that's going to be Applin Ball. Seen Keyshawn Holmes, big Keyshawn Holmes. That's another one over there. He's got to be an offensive lineman or something. They're going to, Applin County's going to call timeout. We're going to take a quick timeout. We'll be right back with you. Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Folsom Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the back and let's do it. Do it. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox. One. All right, folks, we're back with you. Appling County with the ball. We're trying to get it down the court here. Finally do. We crossed the timeline, and he's going to call traveling. He called it. That was the right call. Got it over to LJ Nance, and he just took a step or two before he put the ball on the floor. It's <laughs> a hard thing. Hard thing to do, especially if you're moving like he already was. Yeah, and he was looking down court, too, looking for a pass. Bacon County with the ball. A good block right. in there. Carter. The big guy under there, number 35, Holmes had the ball and he shot. Nance comes down with it. Nance is going to drive. Don't go. Somebody batted it down. Number 12, Big Wright comes down with it. Gets it over to 23, Harris. Harris, great ball handler. Trying to drive. Stutter steps. I thought he might have traveled there, but no call. He gets his own rebound, shoots and scores. Four to up. four. And that's it. Solomon drew a foul. That is on number three. That is going to be on Steve Morgan. Got Mike Dixon in the ball game for Bacon County. Solomon thought about it. Pulls up, shoots off the glass from the side, shoots and scores. 6 4. 
Zell with the ball, kicks it over to Wright. Right back over to Harris. And I guess that was a travel. I don't know if he called travel or I think he might have called a... Three seconds in the lane. Or he palmed the ball. I, I think he might have palmed the ball. And now we travel for sure. It's going to be Bacon County ball. Looks like Adrian Cothran's going to come in for number 14, Mike Dixon. Harris to inbound the ball, gets it underneath to the big guy. They battling under there, no call. Brian Carter comes in, but they tied up. Lamarcus Wright, it's going to be Athens County ball. Nance with the ball. Gets it over the top here, back over to Nance. We got to get across the timeline, we do. Back over to Solomon, about threw it away, but there's Bryant. Bryant pulls up, tries to shoot, bat it away. Nance comes up with it. LJ Nance can jump out the gym. <laughs> you know what? He, ain't, he might not be the tallest, but he can jump with any of them. Yeah, you put that with his, with the, yeah. with the speed he's got. Two. Yep. Long three-point shot by, that was number four, Santiago Bazell. 7-6, that's their lead for tonight, 7-6. Bacon County, they're going to press us again all the way. Yep, and that's going to be a foul on Adrian Cothran. Kind of leaned into him when he tried to go around. Got I think Dixon's coming back in the ball game for somebody. 435, I believe. That's going to be for Holmes. Carter with a floater, scores. It's back in two. Yep. Cole, here we go with another one. <laughs> say, same way as the girls game to begin with. Eight to seven. We're going to drop back in kind of like a one, two, two. Three seconds. That had to be three seconds lane in. Turn the ball over to Afton County. Tapia with the ball. He handles the ball well, too. Gets it underneath to Solomon. Solomon driving. Falls down. Yeah. Was, and he called a charge. Yeah, I was thinking it was a charge on yep. DJ that time. Yep. DJ Solomon called a charge on him. That's his first foul of the night. See, I missed a foul on somebody up there, didn't I? Yeah. On on the uh, Bacon's yeah. team? Yeah. Yeah, I thought I, I don't re I don't remember. Uh, it must have been one of them ones away from the ball that I didn't see. Bacon kind of bounced off his foot. That should be Applin ball. Solomon the inbound the ball gets it over to Nance. They got three people down. They're going to press us. Tapia with the ball back over to Nance. We got to get it down across the timeline. Nance is going to sprint. Gets it across. Going to move to the lane. Shoots just off the top of the lane. Gets his own rebound. Turns around. Shoots again and scores. 10 7. 220 left in this first period. Applin County on top on your Village Pizza scoreboard. We retreat back in sort of a zone defense. Bacon County with the ball. That is number 23, Harris. Harris trying to make a move. Light lost the ball. Gets it over to Cothran. Cothran gets it underneath to Wright. Wright traveled. Nance is going to come out of the ball game, get him a break. And uh, Roberts is in the ball game now. Tapia to bring the ball down. Tapia pulls up. Three-point range. Shoots. Looks good. Just oh. missed. And they call traveling on right. All right. Oh. Yeah, they called it on traveling on right for Bacon County. He got the right. rebound. Tapia with the shot again. There's Solomon trying to get it. Oh. 
And they're going to say it's um, Bacon County ball. Yeah, when Wright got the rebound, he got the rebound, he like a struggling. I think yeah. he took a step when he spin. Adrian Cawthorn with the ball. Cawthorn over to uh, Harris. Harris three-point shot. Off the rim, we come down to rebound. And that's going to be on number 12. I guess he pushed off. That is going to be on LaMarcus Wright. Appling County ball, Tapia with the ball. Gets yeah. it over to Roberts. Appling's got another one in the game. I didn't see coming in. Number 24 for us. Yeah, we got a new player in. Oh, he brought the ball over, carrying the ball. We actually got um, Cooper Thornton in the ball game, number 24. Cooper, one of them big body kids, get in there and get some rebounds. Got him back in that forward position. Bacon County with the ball over to right over to Harris. Harris is going to drive in. We can cover him up and kind of cornered him. It's going to be Appling County ball bounced off his foot. Get it into Roberts. Roberts down here to Cooper. And called traveling on Thornton. Thornton caught the ball as he was trying to run with it at the same time. It wasn't his fault. It was a bad throw pass. Thornton's coming back out. Toppy's coming out to get a break. Nance is back in. Bryant's in. Bryant Carter. That's who came back. I thought Hakeem was out. Hakeem Barnum. Uh, I thought Hakeem and El I think you're Edgar. right. Barnum's back in the ball game, ain't he? Yeah. Yep. That's up. Yep, you're right. Harris with the ball. Cross court pass over here to number 10. We knock it away, but there's right. And I think the points are good. He drew the foul. And we got a technical now on, uh, apparently on, on right. Okay, let's sort this out. We gotta we gotta see how this is gonna work. Well, I wasn't well, the, I wasn't really sure. The point was good, the foul was on Bryant. Okay. On number so they called it the technical on number twelve for bacon, I right. believe. And on number 12, they called a foul on our number 12. The point was good. The basket was good. Yep. So that. And then they called the technical on their number 12. He shoots it and he makes it. Ties the ball game back up. <laughs> we wouldn't have it any other way, would we? Nope. And now, and he shot them. Now we got L.J. Nance down here to shoot the points for us with 40 seconds. Seven seconds left. Shoots. First one, and it's good. That takes the lead back, 11-10. He gets a second one right here. Shoots it. It's up, and it's good. 12-10. Appling County on your Villains Pizza scoreboard. 47 seconds left. And another one of these barn burners. And we get the ball. Inbound the ball to Nance. Clock ticking down. Getting close to 40 seconds. We may play for one shot. I'm not sure how we're going to do this. Coach Cotton over giving directions. Gets it in the Carter. Carter shoots. Good tip in by Nance. Good tip in. Was coming off the rim and Nance pops it back in. Told you he could jump out the gym. Yeah, that was a great job by Nance. 14-10. Harris with the ball, Bacon County. Clock winded down. 12, 10. Cawthorn, Cawthorn shoots a prayer up there. And we come down with it. That's Solomon down here deep to Roberts. Roberts is driving. He shoots and he scores. And that's going to be the end of your first period with a score of 16 to 10. Your Appling County Pirates on your Village Pizza scoreboard. Folks, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back with you to start the second period. 
Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. your car because some people never learn to park that's simple human sense ask rents and rents insurance in baxley if auto owners make sense for you one all right folks welcome back um starting uh the second period pirates on top 16 10 on your village pitch scoreboard in bacon county with the ball dishes underneath back outside to number four we block it Roberts comes down with it, throws it, tries to throw a pass down here. Whistle comes blowing in from way over here. I'm not sure what happened there. I think he stepped out right before he threw, threw the ball back. Yep. And that's going to be Applin County ball. Yep. Yeah, he, try, he was trying to get it back in. He was trying to get it back in and stepped out. The official was right there. Now just had another technical foul. I think that tech might have been on the on the coach. No, that's going to be on number 10. 10. That's going to be on Adrian Cothran. Technical foul. We're going to bring Nance to the line. Wow. Folks, get on up here. <laughs> There's the first shot. Bounces off, misses. Nance with his second shot. Looks good. It's up, and it is good. That gives uh, LJ seven points. And we retain the ball again right here at half court. A couple of technical fouls and stuff going on here. Gets the ball in to Tapia. Tapia brings it in. Top of the key, looking for somebody. Gets it over to Nance. Nance moving back to his left, back to top of the key. Way over here, finds Solomon. Solomon's going to drive. Pulls it up, and he traveled. Did he done a little hop, step, and then step? Yep. 17-10 on your Village Pizza scoreboard. It's Bacon County's ball right now. They're bringing it down. That is uh, Harris, number 23. Xavier Harris gets it over to number four, Brazil. Both of them great ball handlers. Back over to number 14. That's Mike Dixon. And there's number 13, Tarber, in the ball game. Dishes it underneath to number four, back out to 23. And he traveled when he took that step to try to, I think he slid with it. It's going to be Applin County ball. We inbound the ball. Solomon did to top him. Top you, a great ball player. We've watched him grow. Over to Solomon. And on this corner, he's looking for somebody. They batted away. They steal it. That's Harris with the steal. There's Solomon comes back behind him, gets it back. Good hustle by Solomon. There's gets it over to Bryant. Bryant thought about three. He makes him miss. Dri drives in, but he traveled. He traveled. Yep. Yeah, he traveled. Yeah, that was pretty obvious right there, wasn't it? It was a great move. Great oh, yeah. move. He just. Too many steps. We done broke down to the 3-2 zone now. Coach Cotton likes to play a zone defense, I noticed. Bacon County moving the ball around. They try to get underneath. Bryant Carter with the steal gets it over to Tapia. Tapia's pushing the ball down. Gets across the timeline. He's looking, dishes it back over to Solomon. Solomon with a three-point attempt. Looks good. Bounces off the rim. But big number 35, Holmes comes down with a rebound, gets it over to Brazil. I think that foul's going to be on Nance. Yes, it is. Too much body on him. That's LJ's second foul tonight. Don't need him to get in foul trouble by no means. Harris with the ball. It's like we said during the girls' game. These, these refs, they're fair. They're calling it both. Please. They sure are. They, they really are. They're calling it, they're calling it fair. Brazil with the ball back over to Harris. 
Harris trying to make move. Tapia's all over him. Tapia's great defensive player. Great defense there. Kept him in check. They got it over to Brazil. Brazil, too many steps. You've got to put the ball down before you take that step. Solomon to inbound the ball. Gets it over the top of you. And whistle blows. I don't know. And to bring the ball in from the side right here in front of our bench, I guess that's what it was. Oh, uh, okay. Brought it in from the wrong location. The other official caught it. Top you with the ball, top of the key, moving to his right. Look for somebody, gets it back out to Solomon at the top. There's Nance, but he's covered. Back over to Tapia. Tapia's looking for somebody in the middle. That foul is on number 35. The body, the points didn't count, did it? Nope. Uh, apparently not. No, no because he, he caught it. He That's caught it before he shot. Yep. That was on Holmes. We're bringing the ball in under the goal. We kick it out here to Solomon. Solomon pulls up at the free throw line. Shoots. Somebody got a rebound. That was Nance. Oh, man, it just won't go in. It's everywhere. It's rolling in and out of there. We're battling. The ball, oh, almost. In. Oh, they said travel. <laughs> Nance with a shot behind his head that liked to win in. I do believe they were right, though. I did see him take a few steps. You're right. You're right. He sure did. It's like Roberts is getting ready to come back in the ball game. Harris with the ball over the corner of Brazil. Back over to Harris. Harris, long three-point attempt. Bounces off the rim. I think Tapia come down with a rebound. He did. He's driving. He's pushing. Loses the ball for a minute. He still got it. Goes to the top. Pulls up. Thought about it. They batted away. Harris did. Harris has come down with Dishes it down under Brazil. And he traveled. No points. Roberts in the ball game for Nance. Solomon inbound the ball. Tapia with the ball now. 17-10. 4-35. Left on your Village Pizza scoreboard. Long shot by Barnum. Three-point attempt. Bounces off the rim. We've got a battle under there. And it's going to be Bacon County ball come off of our guy. I think they're moving his players out. We got somebody else just come in. I'm not sure. I think that was Carter, wasn't it, come in? Yeah. No, that was Nance that come back in the ball game yeah. for Tapia. Yep. Harris with the ball. And he traveled. Yes, he did. <laughs> he went to do the pass, you see I missed it that time. Yeah, he. Uh, it was that little subtle step. You can't. They'll call it every time. Roberts with the ball. Roberts done a fine job a while ago when he was in the ball game. Gets it back out to Nance. And that was number 14 come running in and foul. That is uh, Mike Dixon. That's his first foul of the night. 4-0-4. 1710 Applin County Village Pizza School Board. We inbound the ball to Roberts. Roberts thought about it over to Carter. Carter's thinking about a three point attempt. Back over to Roberts. We're getting around, get it back out to Nance. We're slowing the ball down a little bit, passing around, and bounces off the leg of um, Dixon wisely, I think. I think that was by design. Roberts with the ball, inbounded by Solomon, over to Solomon. Three-point attempt, rattles out, but Barnum with the rebound and shoots and scores. 19-10, 3.35 left in this half. Bacon brings the ball down, gets out to big number 35, back out to Harris. Harris, great ball movement, shoots and scores. That's their first points of this half, 19-13. Nance with the ball. Nance is thinking about it, pulls back out the top of the key. Trying to get it inside, gets it over to Solomon. And he traveled. 
Got four for us coming in. For that Robert. is number four. That's Nate Davis coming in the ball game. And number 12 for Bacon came back in, I believe. And number 12, that's uh, LaMarcus Wright. Harris with the ball. Gets it in to Wright. Right back over to Brazil. Brazil with a three-point attempt. Long three-point attempt. Off the front of the rim. Bryant Carter comes down with the ball. Slings it down here. Get, tries to get it to Nance. But uh, Harris comes in. It bounced off his head and I think went out. Now they got number three coming in the ball game. That is Steve Morgan. And Afflin is going to call a timeout. And Afflin's calling a timeout and we'll be right back with you. Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Falls Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the back and let's do it. Do it. All right, folks, we're back with you. 2.52 on the clock for this second half. Your Appen County Pirates are up 19 to 13 on these Bacon County Red Raiders. This has been a battle from the start. Big crowd, good crowd here tonight. The crowd's into it. The cheerleaders are into it. Appling County with the ball. We're fishing inbound the ball. Solomon bringing it in. We got Nate Davis in the ball game. He's going to handle the ball at the top of the key here. The crowd's getting loud over there now. Stomping. Long pass over here to the corner to Solomon. Back out to Davis. Back over the corner to Barnum. Barnum's moving to his right. He's got some trouble on him. He shoots one, throws one up. It almost went in. But Brazil comes down with Bacon for Bacon County. Oh, he double dribbled. He didn't mean to, but he lost the ball and double dribbled. Boy, this crowd is into it. Yeah. It's coming. Both sides are into it. Yeah, it's got me a little confused right now because I'm used for us to be on the away side. Too. That's right. But Nate they, Davis with a shot, shoots and scores 21-13. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, we got some of our people over there, but Bacon County's on the far side away from them. Our people over here, it's usually opposite. Yeah, I think they switched it up uh, yeah. on us tonight and uh, put home side on behind the I, I uh, think you're right. Bleachers and all. We just, uh, Bacon just turned the ball over. Steve Morgan double dribbled. So we got the ball. Nate Davis over to Solomon. There's the corner to um, Carter. Two minutes left. Running through the lane. And they're going to call a travel on Solomon. Yeah, he didn't it looked clean, but I don't know. But I guess I, I think he did take a step and didn't put the may ball. May have down. one too many. Bacon County's trying to inbound the ball and they can't, and there ain't nobody down here. They got to try to do something. And we're trying to. It's going to be Bacon County ball. He just rolled it out there. Solomon come diving. Nobody was down there to help him. Everybody retreated to the other end of the court for Bacon County. But luckily, they get the ball back a minute. Clicking that minute fifty, close to it. Brazil with the ball, gets it over to Harris. Harris with a three-point attempt, misses everything. Nance comes down with the ball. Nance is going to push it, push it down the court. Goes back, goes to the corner. There's Nate Davis. Nate Davis is going to drive, and look at He drew the foul. That might be on number four. It was. Yep. That was on Brazil. That's his first in Santiago, Brazil. And, folks, if I mispronounce the name, I don't mean to. Don't be mad with me. We, we try to call him the best we can. Just correct us and tell us what it is. We don't mean to mispronounce the name. That's going to bring Davis to the line. Davis already has him two points for tonight. There's his first shot. Looks good. It's up and it is good. 21-13. Looks like we're going to swap some players in. I see uh, Shane Gillis coming Shane Gillis for come, yeah. uh, DJ Solomon. And they're going to bring him and Nance up to the uh, line now. Well, got us some rebounders up there. Davis with the second shot. Does not go in. 
Big Holmes, number 35, comes down with it. They get the ball down quick. There's Harris. Gillis all over him, pulls up in front of Bryant and shoots. Or Bryant Carter, who misses. They still rattling around there and they're kicking around. There's Holmes. Shane Gillis comes up with the ball. Gillis comes down and slows down a little bit, trying to find somebody, gets it over. Oh, he said it was backcourt, but trying to get it in that step back court, but I thought he was across. They I, said jump, I thought he was across the line. I time. did too. He was in the air, so it wasn't. There's a shot by Bacon County. Missed it. There's Wright with the rebound. He shoots. Scored. Let's see if the point's good. If the foul was on number five, and the basket was good. So that's LJ Nance's third foul tonight. That brings Wright to the line. He shoots and he makes it. Appling County ball under the goal here. 22-16, a minute seven left in this, this half. Solomon with the ball. They're going to call a travel. Harris kind of bunny turned and run into Harris. They called a travel. So it's going to be Bacon County ball down here by their goal. Gets it in the Harris. Harris moving to his left. He tries to dump it down, but we're right there. It looks like he stepped out. That's going to be Appling County ball. Gillis inbound the ball. Gets it in to Davis. Davis trying to dribble out of traffic. Gets across the timeline. Gets it on down here to number 12, Carter. Carter shoots a three-point attempt. He goes out. That's going to be Bacon County ball. 48 seconds left, 22-16 in this half. Appling County's way on your Village Pizza scoreboard. Brazil with the ball, moving to his left. Somebody sets a pick. He hopped and jumped. He shoots and scores, but no travel called. 22-18, 31 seconds left. Carter with the ball, gets it over to Davis. Davis is going to drive and shoot. I think he drew the foul. That might have been on number 12. If it is, that's going to put him in some foul trouble. It's on 35. Nah, it's going to be on 35. That's going to be on Holmes. That brings Davis to the line again. 22-18, 25 seconds left. Shoots the first one, misses it. Free throws are important. We talked about that a while ago. Okay. I think that's the first one he's that Nate Davis has missed. Though, yeah, he know. made the one a while ago on that three-point attempt. There's the second one. It rolls around, and it goes in. 23-18. Crowd is loud in here. Get it over to right. Back over to Brazil. Back over to uh, number 23, Harris. Harris is going to drive, throws up a prayer, shoots and scores. 23, 20, 13 seconds. Gillis with the ball. Gillis is driving down. He's going to go to the lane. He shoots. He goes in. I caught him for double he caught dribble. a double dribble. Nine seconds left. 23, 20. Yeah, I'll be honest. I didn't see a double dribble. I, I did thought I saw a travel, though. Yeah, that's what I thought it might have been a travel, if anything. They got the ball in the big homes and the whistle blew, and that's going to be a on, foul. On number 10. And that's going to be on Barnum. That's his first foul of the night, so that's probably. They're going to bring the ball in under the goal. 6.5 seconds left to get the ball in to Harris. Harris is going to drive lane, tries to get it up. But Brian Carter bats it away about three rolls up into the stands. Two seconds left. And now they're trying to, they're calling, they're I guess it's something to do with the fans game. over there. They're going to talk to. Uh, they're calling for the game manager. Yep. I like somebody in the stands over there. So Bacon County then bound the ball, 23-20. Two seconds left, but fires up a shot, almost made it. And that's going to be the end of the half. 
With a score of 23 to 20, your Appley County Pirates on top. This has been exciting. Yes, sir. Golly. Yeah, just, just like the girls' game, this is a, another close one. It is. Man, this is back too. I thought for a minute there we was going to pull away a little bit, but they just they won't go away. Well, that's, how, that's exactly how the girls' game was. It, we, it is. We kept pulling away, and they kept coming back. So, Man, we knew these two teams were pretty evenly matched. Now, and with the crowd into it, too, like this, this well, is, is – this is amazing. I tell you, it's been banked too. I don't really know who to, you know, the Xavier Harris for um for Bacon County has really got them in the ball game here. Um, he started rattling off some points in that Lamarcus Wright, you know, got himself in a little bit of trouble there with a technical, but he's got five, six points himself. Um, and that Santiago Brazil, he's got seven points. Um, Nate Davis for us, he comes in the second quarter and scores four points. And uh, his, most of his from the free throw line right there. I think he had, he had about three. Yeah, about three from the free throw, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. L.J. Nance. Yeah, L.J. Nance. He's um got seven points. They held him to one point this uh, this uh, second quarter. Uh, but he done. He played well. He, I mean, he's done some. I say he, even though he didn't have many points, he was still different. He's yeah. But difference maker, especially on defense. Uh, rebounding wise too yep but we're hanging on to a slim lead here i'm telling you folks if you're if you're watching if you're listening to what's going on here this is an exciting ball game i tell you y'all need to come on out here this is the crowd's loud it, this is exciting and uh you need to come on out here and, and uh be a part of this this is exciting i tell you me and cole we're having a blast up here um, yes, sir. We can hardly contain Jackson over here behind us. He is just so fired up and just, I mean, never seen so much emotion in my life from that kid. Have you, Cole? I, no, I've never seen that much emotion from him. <laughs> We'd love to have to contain him in a minute, have we? Oh, yeah. I wonder if law enforcement's close by. You had to check <laughs> him up a little. But anyway, well, folks, we're going to take a break here in a few minutes. Oh, I think we're going to take a break here in a few minutes, and uh, we'll be back with you. they gonna got some stuff going. We'll be back with you to start this uh, second half, y'all. Stay with us. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912 705 2273 and let us help you stay healthy. We insure your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you. Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Folsom Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the Baxley and let's do it. Do it. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. Insure your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. 
Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you. Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Falls from Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the back and let's do it. Do it. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. your car because some people never learn to park that's simple human sense ask rents and rents insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Falls from Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the back and let's do it. Do it. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. Insure your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you. Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Falls from Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the back and let's do it. Do it. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. Insure your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. 
Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you. All right, folks, welcome back here in Appling County at the high school gym uh, where uh, the Appling County Pirates are taking on Bacon County Red Raiders. This has been a battle this first half. We watched a great girls game that was back in two in the same way here with the boys. There's a lot of action. Appling County on top, 23-20 on your Village Pizza scoreboard. Just starting this second half here. Appling County with the ball. Toppy at the top of the key there gets it over to Solomon. Solomon looking underneath to Carter. He's going to drive. He uh, takes a shot, rolls in, and scores. That is DJ Solomon. That's a good way to get the second half started. That is. That's a great way. 25-20. Zell with the ball gets it over to Harris. Harris back inside the right. Back over the corner. I can't really tell who it is. That's number three, Morgan. Back over to Brazil. Harris with the ball. Harris moving to... Started to the top, gets it back underneath. Now they got it underneath the Holmes, big Holmes. He throws it up, misses. Back out to number four. That was Brazil. Took a shot at it and missed. Great job by Nance there. Throw yeah, the Nance back. get back inside so he can get the ball. Nance over to Tapia, Tapia. And they call a travel. I thought he did a little fake like he was fishing through it. I think somebody stepped in front of it and caught him sliding. That's going to be a uh, Bacon County ball. Right here, right by our bench. It's like we got a discussion here, Bacon County coaches. I think you're talking about seating. Yeah, I think the, uh, the coaches now, I think sign seating sort of. Yeah, they done that, that one of the last games we had done. I think you're right. That's right. Brazil with the ball at the top of the key. Moves to his left. Bounce pass over there to Morgan. Morgan gets it back out to Harris. Harris right out top. Back over to Brazil. Right at the top of the key. Back over to Harris. Harris thought about it. Pulls over to his left. Back into right. They're moving the ball around really well. Morgan over to Harris. Harris keeps thinking about it. Tries to drive in. And he traveled. Done that little hop. Two hops. And that's a travel. Top you inbound the ball to um, Nance. LJ Nance. Nance bring the ball down. He brought the ball down across the timeline. Got Morgan on him. He's looking for somebody. Finally gets Solomon to come out to meet him. Solomon's looking, looking, moves to his right, drives in, found a crease, tries to shoot, loses the ball. Right gets it, slings it down court to uh, Harris. Harris for an easy layup. And that's their first points of this third quarter. 25-22, still close ball game. Solomon with a three-point attempt, bounces off the rim. Rebound by Barnum. Barnum shoots it back up, misses. We got Pirates all over the place. I think the foul might have been on Holmes. And it was. No, it was on 23. That was on Xavier Harris. Brought Solomon to the line. Solomon set. There's his shot. And it's good. Like we've been practicing free throws, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Looks a lot better tonight than we've been seeing, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah, both both our guys and girls look like they've been practicing three throws. I know. Whoa, that throws. rattled out. That was in there, and it just rattled out. Harris with the ball comes down that right side. Long three-point attempt. Bounce off the front of the rim. Tapia comes up with the ball around the back and loses the ball. Lost the dribbling. Right comes down. There's Harris with it. Harris is going to drive to the hole. Round the back. Left handed misses the layup. Pirates with the ball. There's Barnum down there by himself. He tries to slam and misses the slam. I think he jumped just a second. Yeah, I don't think he jumped like he wanted to. And uh, that was. Um, 
Morgan, I think, with the score then. 26-24. Boy, if he'd have slammed that one down, that'd have brought the house down out here. They're already fired up. There's Carter with a shot, line drive shot. And let's see, was that a foul? Yep, they called a foul on LJ Nance. That's going to be four fouls on him. Ooh, we didn't need that. Toppy out of the ball game. Nance out of the ball game. That's going to bring Roberts in the ball game and Davis, Nate Davis in the ball game. Zell inbounded the ball to Harris. Harris going to try to drive. Kicks it over to Morgan, back over to Harris. Harris going to try to attempt the three-point. Bounces off the rim. Nate Davis comes up with it. Roberts has got it now. A lot of battling under there, slapping it away. I think it bounced. Roberts bounced, batted it out. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't talk here for a minute. I got excited. Bacon County with the ball. Over to right. Right's one of them big body kids. Tough to handle under there. Over to Holmes, that's another one. Harris is going to drive under the rim. Tried to do a backside layup and missed. Wright went up for the with the rebound for the layup. They, yeah, they called a foul on Hakeem. And that was on um, Hakeem Barnum. So that brings Wright to the line. I'm glad you saw that. I didn't know who it was on. Yeah, I wasn't sure who they were calling it on because I didn't, I didn't see anything. I didn't either. It must have been. Had to be away from the ball a little bit. Wright missed his first shot. Second shot's on the way. Bounced off. We get the rebound, but they try to stuff us up there. Gets it over to Barnum. Barnum back over to Carter. Carter down court there to Roberts. Roberts lays it up just off the rim, but there's Brian Carter battling on there. We got the rebound snatched away from him from behind. Morgan with the ball, brings it down, gets it over to Harris. Harris is going to come back and retreat back to the top of the key. Slows it down a little bit. Moves to his left. Looking, looking, looking. He will pull up. He's going to drive. He lost the ball there for a minute. Gets it over to Bazil. Bazil shoots. Misses. But there is Holmes with the rebound. Turns around, shoots it back up, and scores. A tied Big Keyshawn Holmes is tied. 26-26. Oh, Lord of mercy. This is just like the girls' game, ain't it? Oh, <laughs> yeah. There's Carter with a layup. Misses it. I think he wanted to pass it. That's what it looked like in any side to shoot the last one. Brazil come down with it. Gets it over to Morgan. Morgan walk. Going to be Appling County ball down here. Looks like they're swapping some people in and out. Yeah, Holmes 10. comes out the ball game, and that is Cothran, Adrian Cothran in there. They're going to press us a little bit. There's Roberts. He threw the ball, just threw it down there, but there comes Nate Davis out with it. Davis shoots and just rolls off the rim. We can't get it to fall now. Cothran with the ball moving to his right. Kicks it back out to Harris. Long, long three-point attempt. Bounces it off of everything. Solomon comes out with it. Solomon's moving it down quick. Solomon's going to drive, gets it batted away, but Nate Davis, I think, got the rebound. He shoots. There's Roberts. Lays it up and in. Scores. 28-26. Zell with the ball over to Harris. Harris with another long attempt. Misses it. Somebody slung it back in. And that's going to be Appling County ball. <laughs> Shane Gillis coming in for Bryant. Carter. And I think Tarber just came in for Bacon County. We're trying to get the ball in, get it into Gillis. Gillis gets it over to uh, Davis. Nate Davis, great ball handler. He's going to drive, going to the hole. Drew the foul, I think. That should be on number 10. Yes, that's on Cothran. That's his second foul along with a tech that he had earlier. That is going to bring Nate Davis to the line with a 
lead on your village beats the scoreboard Davis looks shoots just missed a little too deep off the back of the rim Davis set shoots and it's good 29 26 three-point lead two minutes left in this third period third period's going quick and there's a travel on Brazil folks there's a lot of whistles but like me and Cole were sitting there talking it has been even all the way around and it looks like um I don't know who called the time there'll be a here. timeout Appling County coach Cotton wants a timeout so we're going to take a quick timeout with them we'll be right back football is all about teamwork Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Folsom Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the back and let's do it. Do it. One. On a All right, folks, we're back. Uh, minute 55 left in this third period. Appling County, 29-26. Appling County in ball to, bound the ball here at half court. We try to pass it inside to Shane Gillis. Roberts did. Got batted away, so it's going to be Appling County ball up under our goal here. Gillis inbound bound the ball to Roberts. Batted away again. I think that was by Cothran or either... Morgan both were in the area. They, they called a foul. Oh, they called three. a foul on number three. That was on Morgan. So that's going to bring Roberts to the line. Roberts seems, I think he's pretty good at free throw line. Set. Shoots his first shot and it's good. Makes it 30 to 26. Well needed points. We're moving some people around, checking some people around, see if we can get some rebounds. Got big tall Shane Gillis in there. Second shot's up, and it's good also. 31-26, got Appling eight. County. 14 for Bacon is coming in for number, number three. Mike Dixon coming in for uh, Steve Morgan. Bacon County with the ball rolling around down there. We got people fighting over this all over the place down here. We got a man, oh, they stole it away. That is number 13. We got the foul. The points are good. Let's see who it's on. On number 11. Called that on DJ. Called that on DJ Solomon, didn't he? And that was number 13, wasn't it? With the score? Uh, Tarver. Yes. yes. And that's going to bring him to the line. 31 <laughs> 28. There's the shot. It's up. It rolls off. Shane Gillis with the rebound. Gets it out to uh, DJ Solomon. Back over to Nate Davis. They're pressing. They got us at the line. We finally get it across. Trying to get it up there to Gillis. We finally underneath to Roberts. Roberts shoots and scores. Great job. 33-28. Right Great ball movement. <laughs> and they called traveling on Bacon County. They moved it down quick. Minute nine. 33-28. Nate Davis with the ball. They're going to press us a little bit. We try to force it inside. They kick it back down there. That's Harris. Harris with the layup, and it shoots and scores. 33-30, 51 seconds left. They're meeting us at half court, pressing us. Gets it over to Roberts. Roberts tries to get it over to Shane Gillis. Gillis is going to drive with the layup, misses the layup. But there's Solomon behind him, shoots and scores. 35-30. 30 Two seconds. Long three-point attempt. Bounces off the rim. Barnum with the rebound. Gets it over to Davis. Davis is going to push down. Gets across the line. And they're going to call traveling. He lost the ball there for a second, but they're going to call traveling on him. From the backside. So that's going to be Bacon County ball down here. That's going to be Jaden Tarber inbound the ball to Brazil, San Diego, Brazil. 20 seconds and counting. 
35-30 in this third period. He gets it over to Cawthorn. Cawthorn thinks about it. He shoots and scores. Three-point play by Cawthorn. Got five seconds. 35-33. We get it down here to Roberts. Got to shoot it. Roberts back over the corner. Shane Gillis with a three-point attempt. Just missed. And that's going to be the end of your third quarter with a score of 35-33. Appling County on your Village Pizza scoreboard. We'll be right back for this last and final quarter of this exciting ball game. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. Uh, all right, we're back. Um, this is exciting, 35-33. This is your last quarter here. Bacon County, the inbound the ball. Looks like Harris over there to inbound the ball. Finally gets um, Morgan to come out to him. Kicks it over to the corner to Brazil. Brazil going to drive. Whistle blows. And that's going to be on number 11, DJ Solomon. Foul on him, and that's going to bring um, Santiago Brazil to the line. Got a chance to tie this thing up. That's a shooting foul. Makes the first one. One point ball game. Yep, 35-34. There's the second one up, and it's good. 35-35, new ball game. 7.50 left. To decide this, Tapia with the ball, gets it into DJ Solomon, kicks it over to Barnum. Barnum shoots, misses. There's big homes, but we're wrestling over it. Man. We tied it up, so it's going to be Appling County ball. I was about to say, that should be Appling ball. It's hard to keep up with that. <laughs> well, I'm watching on the scoreboard because it has the error. Really. Tapia with a shot, misses, overshoots it. They kick it down here to Harris real quick. They're going to push it real quick. Harris, great move underneath. Right with the rebound, he shoots and scores, and they take the lead, 37-35. We get it down there to top you, back out to Shane Gillis. Shane Gillis with a three-point attempt, misses just off the back of the rim. Nobody there to rebound. Harris is going to push it down, shoot and misses. That's going to be Appling County ball. Got. Carter coming back in. Got for Carter coming in. Tapia. Yep. Got Nance in the ball game. Nance gets it over here to Solomon. Solomon's going to drive on Holmes. Holmes put a paw on it, but Nance gets the rebound. Looks like somebody might have hit him. Yeah, they call him. And that's going to be on 35. Holmes. 35. Holmes. That's going to be on Holmes. That's his third foul tonight. He's pleading his case, saying he didn't do it. Nance to the line. Need him to get hot. Oh, he missed that one. Kind of a rare thing to see right there. It sure and is. LJ usually makes the majority of his free throws. That one's up, and it's good. One-point game, 37-36. Bacon County's way. Brazil brings the ball down over to his right, gets it over to Harris. Harris back out front to Morgan. Morgan loses it for a minute, but goes back to his right, and he's going to pull up and shoot a three. And misses. And I caught a foul. And 12 for. That was on Carter. Carter. Sure was. Bryant Carter. Bacon inbound the ball, gets it inside. And he traveled. That was Brazil. He tried to back up and didn't put the ball on the floor, so that is a travel. Nance with the ball, 640 left in this ball game. 
Brian Carter drives, shoots, and it falls. Is that one back to lead by one point? 38-37. <laughs> Cole, you're going to be as old as me by the time this ball game's over. We have all this stress, huh? <laughs> Harris with the ball, kicks it back out to Morgan, over to right, back over to Brazil. Brazil shoots off the rim. There's Holmes. Solomon come out and batted it away. And Applin County's going to call a timeout. We're going to take a quick timeout with you. We insure your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you. Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Folsom Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the back and let's do it. Do it. All right, welcome back. 6-16 left in this ball game, 38-37. Maplin County's way has been back in two. Bacon County then bound the ball to get it in to uh, Morgan. Morgan drops it inside the homes, back outside to Brazil, who shoots and misses. Try to three-pointer again. We get it over to Nance. Nance pushes the ball down. He's driving, driving. Gets it over to Gillis. Gillis going to pull up and shoot just off the back of the rim. He's just missing. Pretty shots. Just missing the shot. Harris driving, loses the ball, gets it back, gets it out to Morgan. Morgan shoots and misses. That's going to be Appling County ball. We got Gillis coming out, and we got Adrian Williams coming in for Gillis. Nance brings the ball down, gets it into Williams. Williams looking underneath to Carter. Carter's pushing and driving. Oh, look, no look pass. Tried to get it there, but Holmes stepped in front of it. Great idea, gets it over to Harris. Harris makes one miss, pulls up, shoots and misses. Rebound by somebody, pushed it back up. Nance, and they're going to tie it up. And that's going to be Bacon County's ball. Yep. Harris then bound the ball, gets it over to Morgan. Morgan's driving, tries to get over to Brazil. He did, but he loses the ball, but there's Big Holmes with it. And I think they're going to call a foul on... Well, for us, a Carter. Oh, wow. That's three on Bryant Carter. They get it inside the Holmes. Holmes shoots and misses. Wright was there trying to get the rebound. They tussle under there. And they're going to call it travel. It's hard not to get a travel when you're down there on the floor line. You got Shane Gillis coming back in for Carter now. Yep. Giving Carter a little break. Coach Cotton's over there talking to him, trying to get him coached up. Nance with the ball, looking. Gets it over to Solomon. Solomon looking underneath the barn and back out to Nance. They're coming out on us just a little bit. Putting a little something on it. We're slowing it down a little bit. 4.45 left in this ball game. Nance with the ball underneath to Solomon. Solomon's going to pull up and shoot off the back of the rim. Gets his own rebound. And I think somebody might have fouled him. Somebody might have fouled him there. Yep, that's going to be on right. Or Marcus Wright. How many fouls he has? He's, he's got he's, three fouls counting that tech. Okay. And they're going to call a travel on Gillis. He made that move around the corner. Had the baseline. He just made the move. And so Bacon County has the ball. They're coming down. That's um, 
Brazil with the ball as usual, handling it at the top, gets it out to right, right over to Harris. Harris is dangerous. That kid's got some moves. He, he can handle the ball well and everything. Big homes out front. There's Morgan back over to, to Brazil. Morgan like to lost the ball. Morgan real quick gets it over to Harris. Harris is real shifty back over. Three-point attempt. Kicked it back out. There's – oh, he saved it. Pushed it back into Brazil who shoots and scores. And now Bacon County has taken the lead by one, 39-38. Nance with the ball. Nate Davis looks like he's getting ready to come back in. There's Nance pulling up, trying to shoot. Somebody, I seen somebody in there, but look like we stole the ball back. Get it back up to Nance. Nance shoots again. Yeah, we got people all over him. Williams ended up coming in, taking that ball back on that and rebound. And that's going to be a foul on number 14. Is that our number? Yeah. Is that on Gillis? Yeah. Uh, yes, it is. That's his Yeah, that his was on first. Shane. Is that his first? Yep, that's his first. Bacon County brings the ball down. They've tried several three-point attempts, especially Harris. Harris dishes inside to Wright. Wright used his body to knock Gillis down. Gillis comes up with it. Gets it over to Nance. Nance is going to drive it down. Kicks it over to Nate Davis. Nate Davis shoots and scores. 40-39. We take the lead back by one. Three minutes left. Long three-point attempt. Miss it. There's Gillis up over to Rim trying to get him home. Shoots it up and scores. They take the lead right back. 41 to 40, 253. Nance with the ball gets it out to Nate Davis, who can handle the ball really, really well. Driving over, gets it over to Solomon. Back over to Nance. Nance trying to drive back over to Davis. Davis is driving up, one handed shot, shoots and scores. 42 41. We take the lead back with 226 left. Crowd's getting into it now. This is a close one. This is a barn burner. Get it inside to Wright. Wright shoots and scores. They take the lead back. 43-42. We're right there on top of it. We're battling after the ball down there. And they're going to call jump ball. But it's going to should be Applin County ball, hadn't it? Uh, yes. Yeah. Cothran comes back in the ball game, I think, for Morgan. Ball to Gillis. Gillis going to pull up and shoot. Oh, overshot it. Missed it. Holmes with the rebound. They going to kick it down quick. There's Harris. He makes a move to the inside, pulls up and shoots. And I think they're going to call a foul on Gillis. And they yep. did. That's Shane's uh, second foul of the night. And that's going to bring Harris to the line with a 43-42 lead. That's Connor's getting ready to bring Carter back in. Yep. Bring him in for Hakeem Barnum. Forty four forty two. And that rolls around. Gillis got the rebound, gets it out to Nance. Back over to Nate Davis. Almost lost it. Davis over to Solomon. Solomon's gonna shoot. I think that might be three-point range. Missed it. There's Nance, and they're gonna say over the back. Ah. That's five. So LJ Nance has fouled out the ball game. He's had, he's had a good ball game, though. Yep. So Akeem Barnum's going to come in the ball game now. Nance has played a really good ball game. He called over the back on that and fouled him out. So that's going to bring right to the line, ain't it? Uh, yes. With a 44-42 lead, they can come up with three points right here. And he missed his first one. Minute 38 on your Village Pizza scoreboard. 
There it is right there. He missed that one. And I think Tapia. Tapia's coming in for Shane Gillis now. I think they called him leaving early, Dan, didn't they? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he, he left the line early when he shot it, trying to get the rebound. They're going to press it. They're trying to. We get it down to Nate Davis. There's Davis gets it over to Hakeem Barnum, shoots and scores. Make this a tied ball game with a minute 25 left in the game. Wow, 44-44. Brazil with the ball, gets it over to Cothran. We're all over him. Long cross court, gets it to Holmes. Holmes comes up with it. He misses, but I think they drew the foul. I think they called it on, they, yep, yep. They called it on Hakeem. That's his third foul, Cole. And that's going to bring Holmes to the line. Minute 14. Holmes shoots his first one. Bounces off, no good. 44 44, 114 on your Village Pizza scoreboard in this fourth quarter. Appling County, Bacon County. There's a second shot, and it's good. They got a one point lead again, 45 44. Tapia with the ball, gets it over to Solomon, over to Nate Davis. Davis is going to drive, shoots it up, but there's. Bryant Carter, but Holmes comes down with it, kicks it out. Long pass down here. And they missed the shot. That was um, Brazil who missed it. We got people jumping in the stands over the benches. <laughs> and say that should be Applin Ball. It is. That should be Applin Ball. It is. 51 seconds left in this game. 51 seconds. Tapia with the ball. They're going to meet us at half court. They're going to meet us at half court. Nate Davis with the ball. He's trying to look. He's making a move. Bryant's, uh, he drew the foul. I think that was on Holmes. Uh, it was. That should give him two shots. Yep. Yes, that is. That was on Holmes. That's his fourth foul, and that's going to bring Nate Davis to the line, who has been pretty good from the free throw line so far. Got a chance to tie it up right here. There's his first shot. It's up. It rolls around, and it's off. 40 seconds left. Davis with the ball. Everybody stay home. Didn't get the rebound. There's the second shot. It looks good. It's up. Tie ball game. 45, 45, 40 seconds. And, and we're going to call a timeout. And we're going to take a quick timeout with you, and we'll come right back. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. your car because some people never learn to park that's simple human sense ask rents and rents insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you all right folks we're back 40 seconds left 45 45 Bacon County's ball 40 seconds left in this ball game the clock is ticking now we're gonna meet them at half court try to put a little pressure on them they get the ball down to Harris Harris is a dangerous ombre. They're going to move the ball around and try to play for one shot, I think. Cothran with the ball. We're going to have to move out on him. Now they got Wright with the ball standing there. Over to Harris. Harris is on that corner. Back over to Cothran. Over that corner. Shot. Three-point shot by Brazil. 48-45. We need a three-pointer. Bad. Five seconds. We shoot the ball. It bounces off. Five seconds. Two seconds left. And they're going to hold the ball. And he traveled. He traveled. They're going to call ball game. The officials are exiting the stadium at 45-43. I mean, 45-45-48. Final score. 45-48. Wow, 
Wow. Wow, what a ball game. Yes, sir. Yeah, Man, I hate our Pirates lost that, and they fought hard. This was a good, hard-fought game. It, it was back and forth the whole time. It sure was. Uh, let's say you want to go break for a minute? Like you yeah, let's, get numbers. we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with you some stats. Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Folsom Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the back and let's do it. Do it. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. your car because some people never learn to park that's simple human sense ask rents and rents insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Folsom Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the back and let's do it too. All right, folks, we're back here, me and Cole and uh, Action Jackson over here running the camera in a in a barn burner of a ball game we watched a great game with our girls where we come on top and our boys it was back and two back and two and and um bacon county hadn't made a three-pointer all night until right here the last they froze the ball to one shot and they made a three-pointer and we come down and we couldn't capitalize and that was the end of the ball game right there for us and um we uh here's abigail i got to get a hug from her <laughs> but um we lost a, a close one right there that was that was uh that was a heartbreaker. Look at this. <laughs> that was a heartbreaker for us. Um, thought we had it. I tell you, there was a big crowd here. Everybody was excited. A lot of noise. Um, me and Cole sitting here, we're trying to call this game and be excited at I, the same time. I, it's a little hard to actually hear every it, once in a it while. It was, wasn't it? I mean, it was really hard. I mean, they didn't have no cheerleaders here. We had our cheerleaders, but no, I'm they, tell they you. did have cheerleaders. Here. Oh, they did have. Yep. Their, were they? Yep. Oh, that's they right. They were. The, I saw them across the way. That's right. Side. You're right. And uh, but um, we got some totals here. Um, one thing we had um, we had um, Roberts come in the ball game for us, and he scored eight points. Uh, Nate Davis come in and scored ten points for the ball game. L.J. Nance they held him back to eight. He fouled out. He got in foul trouble early, and which actually hurt us. A little bit. Um, yeah, these, so he, these, these refs did not hold back tonight. They called everything they saw, and and that, and they were right the majority of the time. They were right. They, you're, I you're, did. I it, from our view up here, there was I know at least one that was questionable. Was questionable. Yeah. And but uh, but they but the thing was is and too cold is like me and you talked about the whole time. They called it fair across the board. Oh, yeah. They, they called it both ways the whole time. Yeah, there was no one-sided. It was not lopsided. It was nothing like that. They called it. Um, you know, we had some that we kind of was trying to figure out what was happening there because it's so fast-paced. But um, but we had a lot of good 
guys coming. I'm going to tell you that Bryant Carter, he done a great job coming in. He only had six points, but man, the rebounds yeah, that kid come up with. Finish, say he done really good. Really, not necessarily the rebounds to me. His defense, because oh, he was sitting there slapping oh, balls out. Oh yeah, he was blocking shots because he had them two big guys under there, Holmes and um, Wright, and yeah. he was just battling with them. And these guys here, if you've seen them up close, you know they they uh, they got to be football players. Yeah, they're, they're big. They're, they're big. They're very big and uh, yeah. big body kids. Um, of course, Shane Gillis come in. He grabbed a lot of rebounds, pulled mm -hmm. a lot of rebounds down. A lot of people we had, uh, Francisco Tapia, Tapia he, he did no points for him tonight, which is unusual, but great ball handler. Yes. This kid can handle uh, basketball like you wouldn't believe. Roberts came in. He done good. He had eight. Uh, DJ Solomon, uh, I think he had seven. Uh, Bryant Carter only had eight. Akeem uh, Barnum held him down to six. But on the other side over here, that Steve Morgan, he he was up. He, number three was good for him. He scored, he scored two points. But Santiago Bazell, he scored 14 points for him. Um, then they had that Adrian Cawthorn. He was in and out of the ball game. He scored three. Um, James Coleman, matter of fact, uh, yeah, James Coleman, he come in. Num no, not James Coleman. I'm sorry. LaMarcus Wright. That was that big number 12. He scored 10 points. Now, he got himself. He got a technical. Got, got a little. I think they pulled him out to kind of chill him out a little bit. But he was a force to reckon with. Tarber come in, done a great job. Mike Dixon was a, was rough for him. No points for him, but he done a really good job. Xavier Harris, number 23. That kid there, he was, he's, I don't, he's like a catfish. You can't hang on to him. I mean, he was everywhere. He was just, now he attempted several three-point shots that he missed. But, man, he was just, he moved to the hole on you. He wasn't a big kid, but he was just quick. Yeah, that was the big difference I saw between the guys' game and the girls' game. The girls game had a lot more three points made. Yeah, yeah. Compared to what the guys yeah. game here was. You're right. I mean, they had some attempts, but it wasn't falling. And then you had that Keyshawn Holmes, number 35. He was the other big kid. He had five points, but the force he had up under the the he, goal. He's good. Yeah. He's very. He's a big force up under that goal. Yeah. You couldn't move him. I mean, he was a big kid. He was. He was tall, big. Him and um, right. So it was tough for us to handle. They had his own size. I think a little bit. Um, but both teams pretty much evenly match, as you can tell by the score. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the score says it here. Yeah. And then, like, player-wise score, like each individual score shows it as well that it's pretty, it was a pretty well match. Yeah. And it all comes down to turnovers and stuff like that and all, but our guys have nothing to hold their head down about. They play no, great. Um, no, this is like good. Really proud of them. we got some young boys on this team that, that the future's bright. You know, Coach Cotton, I know, is working with them, and, we see seeing that improvement every every game. I was say, Coach, like like Coach Con said uh, when he came on the show with us, the very on the Skulls and Slasher show. Yep. That, um, he said they may not win, but they are going to compete, and they have competed. They have competed in about every single game they've been in. They've competed. And I'd love to be. I'd you know I'd love one time to be in that locker room and hear hear the the pep talk he gives them and stuff like that because and you know I don't. I really don't think there's a lot of, you know, beating them down. You've done this, done this wrong. But I think a lot of positives come oh, out no. of it. I, I was watching him a while ago. I watched him um, after they caught, after he got Shane Gillis back out of the game. Then yeah. it, I was sitting there watching him. He's going down, to, going down to bleachers with him and talking with him. And, it, and nothing ever looked like it was negative or anything. It looked like he was just trying to coaching, encourage Coaching, coaching his kids him. up. Yep. Encouraging them. That's right. And I like that. I'll tell you, um, like I said, we met Coach Cotton. He come on Skulls and Slices with us, and we got to talk with him. And, and I'm going to tell you, he had us about ready to sign up and play. <laughs> and, uh, but I'm um, really proud of him. I, I just, man, I was excited thinking we fit and come away with a great win here. But it just didn't, wasn't, our, wasn't our time. But, you know, uh, we come across a great Bacon County team here that was, that was evenly matched. And they, they, they got the shot when they needed it. And that's how it goes. But, um, yes, folks, um, we appreciate being here with you. We appreciate y'all tuning in and watching this and stuff. And um, uh, Real quick, um, I know of one thing that we will be at this week's live streaming, and we encourage everyone to be at this because this is, it is wrestling match this week on the 10th, I believe. Mm -hmm. I believe that is Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, that is senior night for wrestling. Oh, okay. Um, as far as I know right now, I believe there is only, I believe there is two senior wrestlers. 
Yep. Um, and so, so we encourage, so we encourage everybody to come out to that match. Um, I don't remember who it's against. I want to say it might be against Wayne. I don't know that for sure. Yeah. I want to say Wayne, but I don't know that. And so it'll be a, so it's going to be a big match. But uh, come out and support these seniors. This is their, uh, last home match. So this will be the last time they get to wrestle. That's right. Wrestle. Wrestle. Yeah. I'll get out in a second. Here in, <laughs> here in the Apple County gym. And yep. so Y'all come, come out and support these guys. Yes. Okay? I'm telling Absolutely. you, if you've never been to a wrestling match, you, you're missing out. You need to come out. It's exciting. It's fun. If And you'll get into it like you wouldn't believe. Yes, and I don't know yet for sure, but we could possibly have some uh, guest announcers that night. I don't know oh, yet. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah. So um, I'll have to see on okay. that, but... Um, but I believe I do believe that the matches they've been starting at five, so I'm going to say that it's starting at five o'clock. I don't know that for sure. I don't remember okay. the schedule off the top of my head. Stay tuned to Facebook and stuff like that. I'm sure we'll throw some some times or dates out here, maybe or something other. Something, Either us something. or uh, the high school. The high school page. Might that's right. Throw out some, uh, time and dates. I do know it's the tenth at least. I do know it's Wednesday the tenth. But good deal. Good deal. Yeah, y'all come out and be a part of that. And everything, but um, all right, Cole. I'm good. I'm good. If you good, make sure Jackson's good. Jackson, you okay over there? Okay, yeah. he got too excited, y'all. I just we gotta. I don't know. Maybe it's cold outside, so he can chill out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> y'all gotta know Jackson. He he don't he don't get rattled about nothing. But um, folks, we we appreciate y'all tuning in with us and um for this you know excited exciting basketball games with the girls and the boys and all the pirate stuff and all. And with that being said, you know like we said. Pirates for life, and um, I hope if Chris is playing golf that uh, he loses every golf ball he has, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> and uh, breaks four or five clubs. But um, anyway, with that being said, uh, y'all thank you, and everybody be safe and stuff. Until next time, go Pirates.